Well, 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 good morning, everyone. It's currently like 9 a.m. for me. And, uh, decided I'd stream since I have nothing else to do, really. Going more with Fallout Boulder Dome, the Vegas one. New Vegas mod. But yeah, I've been trying to reset my sleep schedule because up until now, I've been sleeping until like 6 p.m. and staying up to like 7 a.m. or later. And I was like, I need to change that. We got a uh, video game showcase is coming up uh, on June twelfth for Bethesda and Microsoft. That happens at one p.m. my time. So I was like, I need to make sure that I can be awake for that because I want to watch it. So that's what I'm doing. So I've been slowly over the course of like the last week, just staying up a couple extra hours later and waking up like a couple extra hours, you know, later. And Slowly but surely been working my way from waking up late to waking up early. So it's been a hell of a thing. Anyway, now we just jump into the fallout shenanigans, huh? The last time we had uh had some run-ins with some bad jerks who uh <clears throat> well, they were not nice. I disabled some mods that weren't really working well, by the way. What mod are not present? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enhanced item info warning. Have mod manager called error project Nevada installation. Whatever. Anyway, as you can see, I have a crosshair now. Um, I disabled the enhanced crosshair thing because it didn't seem to work and it didn't give me a crosshair. So I, uh, I've just been kind of not being able to aim well last well, couple whiles. Finally decided I would delete it. So I could actually have a crosshair. But anyway, as you remember, last time we were going through Death Trooper territory to get through all that nonsense. And we rescued this lady, Kate. And she's annoying because she talks very slowly and methodically. I don't like it. But now we're on our way towards the Boulder Dome to the rest of the story and maybe find that cat expert we've been looking for. Potentially. Oh, anyway. Through the tunnels we go to the Rogue Ghoul Camp. Huh? Oh. Interesting place they got here. A feral ghoul. Where do I go from here? Do I just go up here and just jump, or? What do you need? See you later. That's what I need. Ah, huh. interesting place. Well, let's go exploring. I feel like Kate's gonna just like fall off if she like tries to come up here. Oh, there she goes. I don't know. All right, so do they have any shops or anything interesting up here? Sort of safe house. Seeking no source. Sort of a storage no shack. I see the tumbling fog on the If you don't dig my verse, you should get me my journal. It is the key to my sanity and my portal to the universe. What? Oh, if I was under that pumpkin? What pumpkin? What are you talking about? I'll look for it. They aren't talking because you don't know how to listen. They speak. What's this? A door to a shack that I need a key for, huh? Oh dang, she caught up. Well, on myriad hallucinations blindly. You look, but you do not see. The road got some was lanterns here. I guess let's check the storage shacks and stuff. See what they got here. Huh. Oh great. Storage stuff. Hey, Shut up, Joey. Hi there. The name's Joey Gerard. And boy, have you come at the right time. Hell, I'm close. You can't find prices better than these. And if you can, well... Oh, forget it. Oh, can you repair my gear? Oh, yeah. Just with my, uh... 
Goss rifle is getting low. Perfect. Um, what you got for sale? Ram, whiskey, no armor or weapons, huh? BRB extended pistol mags and a pistol scope, huh? I already got both of those, so that's not necessary. But I will go ahead and just clean him out of all of his ammunition. I say, looking at my caps and realizing that I do not have any left. Oh. We'll take the 50 uh, caliber, though, for my anti-material rifle. You know, I might just get rid of the Goss minigun. It has served me well, but I never find any ammunition for it. So it's not like I can really do much, you know? Am I low on anything else that I use? 5.56 five, is kind of low. We got... Oh, he sells these rounds. Nice. Get those replenished. I'm just going to sell the broken shotgun melee weapon thing that I don't use. Yeah, we'll get rid of the minigun as well. Screw it. What else we need? MF cells for the... Pack. I don't really need them right now because I have plenty of but I'll take that. Okay. I don't think I use any of the other ammunition, right? Nope. Okay, we're good. Picks up. End caps to my name. I'm gonna get going. Thank you. Okay, yeah, definitely not a uh, place in there for a book. Boo! Boo! I'm the terrifying ghost of Boulder. Drop... Hmm. You seem not convinced. I knew I should have worked on the booze a little more. I wish all the others were a bit more like you, smooth skin. Hey, you screw. can see there are just tricks of the mind like me. What a weird guy. Let's see. Did he say anything? <laughs> I nope. wish I was deep in delusion like the rest. He just uh, tries to scare like me, the and then there's nothing more important to say. Okay. Well, we'll just continue on our way then. The layout of this place is very interesting. Do I have a new quest to help that guy with finding a... I do not. I wonder if I had a quest to help that guy find a book, but I don't think I'm here to do so. Never say no to free ammo. Alright. We have here Ghoul Soldier... Foot locker that I cannot open for some reason. Kate's in the way now. Man, this place is like a rock slide away from just falling into the pits and dying. Go from here. Here? Oh, maybe? I. Geez. Finding where to go here is. Oh. Oh, is that the way they wanted me to go the whole time and not down there and then up that way? Hmm. Interesting. I guess I could have also like dropped down there and went up the fuel solage. Weird. Okay, so where am I actually going here? The actual path is down here. And across this way. Not really being a way for me to go. Is the marker pointing like back the way I came? I thought it told me to come here. Looks like it's pointing that way. Hmm. Maybe there's a branch off somewhere. Possible. Or not? 
I could just leave me back out the way I came in. Hmm. Maybe I'm misremembering, but uh, you told me to come here, right? Or I just assume I had to come here because of uh, it being the only other place that I had not yet explored. I think it was that one. Yep, okay. So I'm just dumb. Well, pull out my 50 cal. We're back in Death Trooper territory once more. Can I get up over there? I think I can. I don't really want to go down that way, because last time I went that way, there was some death troopers just opening fire at me after that, and that was not an enjoyable experience at all. Speaking of... Someone's having a firefight over here. Let's get totally irradiated again. Go in any of these doors? Knock, knock. Nope. Okay. Okay. Yep, there they are. That's true. Yep, they're still hostile towards me, so right. The yellow, they weren't. I don't know where exactly I'm going to. I want to make sure I get a clear shot with nothing interrupting my line of sight so it doesn't ricochet off the fucking car. Just stop, sir. That missed. Oh my god. And of course, now the car's going to blow up. Excellent. What the hell? Oh. <clears throat> Ow. Oh god, that's just a chain reaction. Okay, well... God, it's too swervy from the freaking injury there. I cannot repair it without the doctor bag. I gotta have a bunch of those. There you are. Hey. Gotcha. Hey, take the shots for me. You're an immortal NPC. Oh, damn. Nice. I have any other ones? There's a couple more, right? At least one. to go. Now I'm irradiated again. Blunt. And I have no right away. Oh. Oh shit. I can't go in there. You can't hide. You can't hide. Trying to hide from you, man. I'm trying to shoot you in the face. All right. What we've got here is a failure to communicate. <clears throat> Doesn't know why I'm taking these ghoul fingers. Man, I really could have used like a shop in that ghoul city. That would have let me. Uh, Buy some stim packs. Seems like sadly that's not to be. Do I have any aid right now? No, I have a super stim pack, but I'm not really wanting to use that quite yet. Uh, I guess the Nuka Cola. Oh no, not the Nuka Cola quartz. Forgot that it did this to my screen. Well, hopefully the health regen it gives me will be enough. Me up there. I can see it's a little bit surely going, so that's nice. Right. We'll create more radiation. So we discovered outer boulder dome, which is the last area here. So we got to go to the boulder underground and into the boulder dome itself. I will say, at least everything's really clear with this, uh, 
Coca Cola Quartz. Can I go in here? I can, but I need a key. Probably opens from the inside or something. There's a gate here, and there's also a tunnel that goes down the other way. Check this out first while we're here. Oh, God. Radiation spiked. Oh, my God. Cars in there. Get a nice bird's eye view up here, huh? Ah, just a bunch of... Is that, is that an enemy? An ally named Sam. Let's try to help him out, shall we? Maybe Sam's the cat expert we need. down there. Sam, you alive? Bam. All right. <clears throat> Doubled up. So let's see. What would be important to have here? You know what? I think sneak would be great to have at this point. Let's, uh, you guys kind of run. I might get intense training and get my perception up, but first, anything new come up? Not really. Ghost and scavenger. Plasma spaz. Yeah. Get intense training and increase my perception. From one. I forgot it was that low. Oh my god. Hey, Johnny Casey. Nope, this is not hardcore. It's just a, a modded uh, total conversion mod kind of thing called Boulder Dome. Talk to Sam. He's unconscious. Of course he is. Sam, wake up. Get inside before anyone else spots us. Head where? What's going on? Where are we going? Oh. I don't think I ever would have found this if not for uh, this guy. I heard you did fine work out there. What brings you to Boulder? Just looking for information about the dome. It just so happens that the scientist passed through here not too long ago, and she left behind a big fat logbook filled out cover to cover. Everyone started calling her the Stork, but now that she's gone, they practically worship her like some kind of angel. You know the scientist went. Back to the dome, after doing absolutely nothing for us. See the book? Not so fast. We all have to work for our daily bread. And when you're in our town, you follow our rules. So I'll need you to do a job for us first. Maybe some kind of information in the book? <sighs> An important looking code. Do you mean a password that means encryption? This is top secret intel you can't get anywhere else. Deciphering it should be cake for someone of your intellect. There. The kids might be able to help too. I mean kids, as in the useless freeloaders that woman dumped on our starving laps. Okay. Um, what do you want me to do? I'm sure you've noticed that outside our cave. Boulders become pretty damn dangerous between the monsters and invaders knocking on our door. It's gotten so hard for our scouts to bring back enough food that we're down to one meal a day. I need you to ease the pressure. You can do that by killing the monster's fat cat in Nightlight and bringing back 20 pounds of meat from each. Pretty simple, right? Sure. Good. I'll point out their usual haunts on your bracelet. Just don't get yourself killed for the sake of pride. If things get ugly, come straight back to the clinic and oh. have my sister take a look at you. You guys have a clinic? Way, I mean, some drugs, right? Hold up. Excuse me, brave traveler, but might you have a pencil or three? Or three? 
Um, why do you want pencils? Well, we are lucky enough to have a projector. We only have so many films, and none of them are about cats. So, I write plays. Um, I'll give you any pencils that I find. A thousand times thank you. Ten of them should stay in my nightmares. Who are you? They call me Deadpan. I'm supposed to be the playwright, but there are only so many combinations of cats and rockets that an audience will find acceptable. Since you've made it this far, you must realize how dangerous Boulder has become. If it would help, I could perhaps uh, accompany you, if you would have me. So you like these cat things? Of course. Found a cat that might be sick. Can you take a look at it? Oh, God. You have to take me there. Yes. 1 a.m. and 11 p.m. You follow me now? Or? Oh, yes. Okay. Your wish for one. All right, first of all, you need to find this clinic. I can't see. I once dreamed that I was a... Booties and mud... But... Hey. Can you fix my stuff? Give me a weapon repair kit, though, so I guess that's cool. Hello. Nikki, what do you do? I'm Nikki, the gopher gang. Peter wants to go for gang news. Cleaning and stuff. You guys are starving. Why don't you eat mushrooms? Those you don't want to eat. Fair enough. Are you, Jeff? Shit on a shingle. Who are you? Can I get some food? All consumables. There. For her water? There. All right. Um, which is Nikki's PD? What's this? Lucia's house. Whatever. Damn. Dr. Andrea! How are you? Terrible. You have any medical supplies I can buy? Sorry, but I can't spare a thing. But we never know when. Ah. Uh. Dr. Andrea. Boulders. You have radiation? I'll have you check. How many caps? Caps. Seriously? The outside world has actually been reduced to paying its way. What payment do you accept? For injury treatment, I'll take a Radex or a Radaway. For radiation, I'll take a Medex, stim pack, super stim, or even some healing powder. Hmm. Well, this sucks. I hate this place. Bam. Say anything important? This. I kill for a cold beer. What? Why would anyone use bottle caps for money? Do you make change with soda can tap? Who are you? Uh, me? I, I just make sure no one burns to death at night. And so who are you? Russia. I like the torches. Okay. Buys torches. Interesting. So. Public library. Interesting. Is this a play area? A theater, I guess. Hmm. Magnificent Mr. Whiskers? Good day. Nope, I don't even want to know who this guy is. Nope. Old clinic. Can I steal any medical supplies from here? I have no healing supplies right now. Ooh, armor piercing. Dome scientist logbook. Huh. Using your science skills, you've decoded the Dome Scientist logbook. Inside, you discover a series of journal entries, and more importantly, access codes to the Boulder Dome. Nice. Don't even have to kill those things now. Um, I did want to look at the perks that I got. There was the one that I just learned. Writer's Block. When your health rate is 25% or less, he will take a bullet for you to restore some of your health to the expenditure of his own. That's weird.
Yeah, I kind of remember very vaguely, like, Fallout 1 and 2 didn't necessarily have bottle caps as a, a main currency, since it did take place in uh, California, where it was under the control of the NCR, basically. Which meant that they were using the NCR money. If I remember correctly. No medical supplies, though? Come on. Help me out here. I think the doctor's still outside, so as long as I can get into these. First game did use bottle caps. Yeah. Honestly, it's been so long since I played Fallout 1 and 2. It's just very vague. I, I only really remember the fact that they had like some sort of like circular currency in both that I used to buy things with. That's about all. Really the only medical supply she has? Come on. There we go. Not the medical brace, I wanted that. Yep. Impact there. Deadpan's journal. <gasps> A pencil. Nice. Not that I really need pencils now, I guess. He's already joining me. Water, yada yada. What is Oh. Blocked off because of that, okay. More Radex. Excellent. Doctor Bag. You're losing karma. We'll cry me a river. All right. Let's see. Hey, bud, you want to leave so I can steal here? Push to detect. There we go. Hidden. Take it. Easy. Are you ready for movie night? Mark. Blow my mind. What do you know about the story? One fly space lady. Space she lady? came from above in a sweet, sweet space suit. Interesting. We think the stork is an alien. Hey, nobody's an alien. We all share the same universe, you dig? Okay, and who are you? I can't tell you who I am, but I can tell you what I'm about. And that Soda machine, huh? <laughs> what? Nah, nah. The machine is my band with Mindy. Oh, oh. Okay. I don't no longer care. How are you? Oh, that's the public library. I see. That was the clinic. It's just a huge stage area. Graveyard looks like it's over there. There's just mushrooms back that way. Do they have any other shops? There's a thing that says keep out back here. Scenic overlook. Or was unaccessible. Oh, it does say keep out. I gotta check it out. These guys are gonna talk to me when I get down here. Reach for the stars! Holy crap on a stick! Is the dome safe? How come mom didn't come to take us back? How'd you get through all the radiation? If I tell you, how do I know you're not with those killers that broke into the dome? Um. Deadpan's helping me. He won't let anything bad happen to Boulder. Okay. I'll tell you. Wow, that was easy. A bunch of maniacs broke into the dome. Mom disappeared, and we thought they killed her. But she found this tunnel and came back to save us. We got here, and Mom and Andre argued like they'd done it before. Then she ditched us to go back and fight or whatever and lock the door. Once things were safe in the dome, she was supposed to come get us. But the town went and built that 
weird shrine thing to seal off the tunnel. Oh, the tunnel's blocked. How will you get back to the dome? I'm sure that Andre guy could knock it down. But mm. since we don't know the door's password, we're stuck here until Mom... Interesting. Shrine, huh? I think I saw a shrine before. Fireflies home. Why does it say keep out? Is it because it's human layer? Normal humies instead of goals? Goals? Ghouls? What you guys got in here I can steal, huh? Got any stim packs? Firefly says that the zombie disease can make people go psycho at any minute. Your name is not Firefly. Seem okay. Hard locked crate, huh? Firefly's dog tags. Dulahan's dog tags. I'll just take them while I see them. Large torched book. Dresser. Adding Firefly. Boxing gloves and stuff, huh? Nice little setup he's got here. Why are there just holes there? Strange. Very strange. Let's talk to Firefly quick and see what he's about. Hey, wake up, buddy. This gun you got there. Get the hell out of my way. Okay. And he's got up there. All right. Moving on. Let me find the doctor so I can have her cure my radiation in exchange for a medex. Wait, what? Seriously? Out of the way. This. Ah, I for some reason do not like these. Another one of Deadpan's journals? What the fuck's with all this blood? Is it because of the barrels running into my teammates? Strange. What are these deadpan journals? Found a maggot sleeping in my leg. Named him Frankie. Okay. That's very, uh, odd. Dr. Clementine Shirker. Deadpan's pencil. Rule wants and pencil. Okay. Anyway. Hold on, access codes. One, two, three, four, five. Of course it is. Nice. First and foremost, let's find the doc. I've seen Love Said Sail so many times, I say the lines in my sleep. Are you ready for me? How about a game? Okay, but this time I get to choose. There she is. Doc! Your skin looks so tight. Are you. Um, I need radiation uh, healed. You... Here's a medex. Hey, look behind you. Yeah, there. Did you see it? Thank you very much. So apparently it's behind here. Inspect the shrine of the store. You need one C4 and explosives 30 or higher. Air control detonation could destroy the shrine scaffolding without causing a cave. Do I even have C4 on me? No. No, I do not. Okay, well. Don't sniff the mushrooms. The spores will grow in your brain. All right, well, before we do anything, I have somewhere I need to go real quick. That is, hold up. Yeah, okay. And that is down to the junkyard. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. What enemies are nearby? Who wants a piece? Who wants some? 
This is why I don't get out. Because I'm hidden. What enemies are nearby? How's it going? I steal space socks. That. That cat. Okay. Go kill that thing quick. You asked for it. Now you can... Oh, that's both of them. Okay. I think they're going to die before I can get over there because we're just shooting them. Those are some big cats. Gain the Lord Death perk. Okay. Yeah, this is a modded Fallout New Vegas. It's actually a, a total conversion mod called Beyond Boulder Dome. It takes place in uh, Boulder, Colorado. So. But that's gonna give 20 pounds, right? I just got like 40. Oh, I wanted 20 pounds from both of them, right? Still, that's like 10 pounds extra. <clears throat> anyway, can I fast travel now? Yes, yes, I can. <clears throat> I guess those two were just for some reason being like... All right, let's go figure out what the hell this cat is about. All right, deadpan, tell me about this cat. Lenore, is that? That's not her. Wait, what's this little body you've been feasting on? It looks like, oh my God, it was her. I recognize the ID tattoo. My Lenore survived all this time, only to be butchered by that, that poor starving creature. You talking about? I had a cat once, but I lost her. She was a beautiful Bindal. Uh, that is to say, a cat with spots. Rather uncommon. When did you lose your cat? She went missing soon after the bombs hit. Awful long time. I'm keenly aware of that. You don't have to prepare me for the disappointment you assume is inevitable. Unfortunately, it's highly likely that she was butchered and eaten. He thought someone ate her. Thanks for the follow, by the way. Hey, socks. Before midnight struck the world, Boulder teemed in the open sunlight with colorful reveries and non-murderous life. It was a deep blue Saturday morning when the sirens wailed. After so many drills, they were just another part of the soundscape, like cars or geese. After the explosion, we ran, hoping to reach the dome before it closed. But with our skin blowing like tattered flags, we had to settle for the cave. With all the vault and sirens, uh, I don't care about that. Come on. We waited for it to dissipate, but the radiation was like nothing we'd ever heard of. A few brave souls ventured out for food, but never returned. Soon, we were forced to consume people as fast as they died, before the maggots could burst from their flesh as if lying dormant all along. When we were left with nothing but the soles of our shoes, my faithful and precious Lenore was all that stood in the way of drawing straws. The world is ending, and the first thing you think of is grabbing a cat. Okay. You kind of need to risk yourself for a friend, even a cat. Thank you. I was shocked upon realizing that I was the only one who bothered. Pets were supposed to be family. One. My hearing had recovered enough to perceive shouting. Then hands started grabbing, tearing us apart until Andre fired his pistol at the ceiling. I couldn't let them butcher my best friend for being the wrong species. At least, 
until I felt my gram's hand rest on mine, so weak and cold. The burns around Lenore's neck were bleeding again, chafed by the leash I'd made from my shoelace. So I loosened it, for her comfort, I said. Then I fell asleep, her little body purring against me to the end. When I awoke, the leash was empty. At least you gave her a chance to escape. In the end, it didn't really matter. Soon after, someone we'd thought dead made it back with food, and I was all alone. Yeah. You know, uh, you're right. Lenore lives on in this cat, so I shall call her Lenore. Nor's giving you the catwalk perk. Come, my putrid princess. Stick with us. Cute, and the meat of a thousand beasts shall fill your chalice. Oh my god, the cat's a follower now. Okay. Is that a a, a black panther club king thing that he has there? Hold on, I need to, I need to check my, my perks real quick. So I got which ones did I get? Lord Death, which you gain bonus damage against everything because you like killing everything. Nice. And then I also got Catwalk, which, while Lenore is a companion, your running speed is increased. If Deadpan is also a companion, they gain 25 points of health. Nice. All right. So, to catch you up on what happened, Space Sox, essentially, uh, we found this notice to take us to a weapon testing facility i wanted to test weapons or whatever uh, it was like a normal job so we go there and they take us to this room where we end up getting basically gassed and once we get gassed they um essentially inject us with this disease and find a cure for this disease called, like, sets in sickness or something like that. And because we were able to uh, survive this disease, and now we have a way to cure it or something like that, the uh, Brotherhood in Boulder uh, uh, gets, well, we get shipped to the Brotherhood in Boulder, Colorado. And they start to work on, like, mass producing this cure. But they also want access to this Boulder Dome, which is this huge, crazy... Um, like large dome structure. Can I even see it in the background here? Not quite yet. But it's this like huge scientific commune with like a lot of technology and stuff. And so since we are immune to the sets and sickness and the Boulder Dome is suffering from the sets and sickness, they want us to go in with this uh, fancy anti-radiation suit and basically say, hey, if you work for the Brother to Steel, we will give you the cure for the sets and sickness. And another thing about the dome is like everything around it is like highly, highly irradiated. And basically anyone who gets near it dies, even ghouls. So it's just like crazy irradiated, right? Um, and so we've been going around finding all this stuff and getting information that we can enter the dome to give them this deal essentially. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, I'm not sure if the mod comes with unlimited followers. It might just be like their own little script to have people who are in the Boulder Dome allow you to be followers. Uh, so let's see. Monster hit. Where's this guy at? He in the clinic? Yes, he lives in the clinic. Okay. Hey. Andre, wake up. Boulder, the weather's always fine. Have you made any progress? Yeah, I got the meat for you. Good, let's see it. Let's see, give 30 pounds of... Wait, there was a cat and a dog? Okay, whatever. Wow, you really went above and beyond. Well, this much food would be able to throw a party. Got some meat for Good. you? Good. Here you go. You've proven your capabilities by doing a great service for Boulder. Which is why I need your help with some internal issues. 
It's bad enough that our other scout, Firefly's refusal to leave the cave and seek food is endangering our people. But we've also been terrorized by a so-called gremlin. Think you're up to it? Our deal was that I'd kill the monsters and you'd give me the log, but... Ah, you ought to stick your pinky in your ear and rotate it. The deal was that you would help the town. I got the dome tunnel, needed a way to get through. The Stork warned us about the dome being under attack. And the shrine is our last defense if those raiders break through the locked entrance. I won't let the raiders get into Boulder. You, who waltzed in here, contributing the bare minimum for your own selfish purposes. I doubt that a few dead citizens would keep you up at night. You're very you're right. You've proven yourself trustworthy. Got any C4, Andre? Okay, you know what? You know what, Andre? I don't have any C4 Omni, but I'm going to see if I can use that uh, C4 option here. Just blow this up. Damn, I don't have any. Okay. Well, shoot. I wonder if I can buy some from the Brotherhood. I care about these ghouls and their quests. Let's see. Hmm, back to the junkyard. I think they'll sell me some... Explosives, perhaps? I think the Brotherhood had some last I looked. Someone did. I don't remember who. Yeah, I think I got explosives at 30, don't I? Oh, I don't even have explosives at 30. Well, I think it said I needed C4 and an explosives of 30 in order to do it. I don't know. I'm just going to buy it anyway just because I'm here. If they got it anyway. It was I'll the assist key. you in any way I can. Uh, trade me some stuff, please. Yeah, there we go. C4. Don't have enough money for it, though, unfortunately. Oh, I got that I can sell. Take all this purified water, will ya? Stealth boy. Uh, take a couple of weapon repair kits. How about a couple of doctor bags, too? There you go. Cart of cigarettes. Cool fingers, medical brace. Get rid of some of this ammunition that I don't use. Uh, all these missiles can go away. Don't need flamer fuel. From these overcharged energy cells, overcharged electronic charge packs. Don't have any 9mm, so I can get rid of those. Don't have a 5mm, so I'm just going to that. Oh, surplus don't even count as. If I can sell, really. 40 millimeter grenades can go away. 30 millimeter grenades can as well. I'm just gonna get rid of the rest of the grenade stuff. I think everything else I want to keep. All right, perfect. All right, I got my plastic explosives. I always need 30 uh, explosives now. But of course, that means I also need to level up, which means I'll have to do their quests anyway. Uh, unfortunately. Well. Can't yeah, fast travel from this location. Keep my ass. Technically outside, I should be able to. Okay. Now I can fast travel. Oh yeah, do I have any other quests? There's a better way. Hmm? Is that... Quest marker actually pointing me back the way I came? Can I get in a different way? Yeah, so I, I need one C4 explosive charge and explosives 30 or higher. Okay. I thought it did say I needed that. 
So it's a good thing I got one. Hmm. All right, well, talk to Andre again and see what he wants me to do. Something about Firefly and something else. Are you ready for movie night? He's cool on movie night. Hello. Tell me about the gremlin. The perp operates at night, stealing and breaking things to screw around with everyone. To narrow it down the suspects and ways to go on a stakeout. But we need more information to pin down where and when it'll strike next. Okay. Good. Ask around a t Hold up, don't go back to bed progress? yet. How about Firefly? He abandoned his duty after too many of those invaders showed up. And hold up in here to patrol nights. According to him, there's an army coming to kill us all any day now. And we're all too old and frail to wipe our own asses. He clearly won't listen to the likes of us. Let's see. I mean, he is right. There is an army coming. Son of a bitch. He said the exact same thing. I thought that the radiation had fried his brain. Still, it doesn't change the fact that we're running out of food. True. Do what I can do about Firefly. Be warned. Don't make any sudden... Right. Okay. So, we need to talk to Firefly and just the residents in general to figure out about the Gremlin. Well, let's go talk to Firefly first, since I know where he's at. And it's also, like, night, so... Oh, hey, Firefly. I'll give you five seconds to... The Death Squad is a top secret. So how do you know that they're trying to exterminate the virus? I could ask you the same. I've been inside their compound. And what do you intend to do about them? Stop them? Then I think we can help each other. The bastard who went rogue and started frying us is Sergeant Renato. While Captain Despo outranks him, Renato is still the puppeteer. I want to see his head on a fucking plate. His death isn't enough to stop the next invasion of Boulder. So you'll need to steal their map as well. Due to that in the town will be secure enough for me to resume my scouting duties. Here. Good. What do you know about the gremlin? One or maybe more of those people is starting to turn. What? Starting to turn? You mean they're feral ghouls or something? What what are you getting at? But anyway, he wants me to kill that uh one ghoul. Okay. Mark. Is it true that cows have what did you know about the gremlin? I can't say that having my A and G string switched didn't inspire me. Would that matter? Just don't mess with an artist's gear or his heart. Not cool. How about a? Why would anyone use bottle cap? Fish. Gremlin. Most people just get their books dog-eared or whatever. But some scumbag decided to propose hot, sexy lovin's to Mark. In my handwriting. You tried telling some slobbery, puppy-faced fool it was a mistake. To add insult to injury, my violin was stolen, so I can't play. Gotcha. Someone has a violin. Interesting. Are there more houses? Oh my god. Yeah. What you know about the gremlin? Yeah. Foxy's illegible note. Not under miscellaneous? What? Okay. Sam. What you know about the gremlin? Gonna be your next trophy. Okay, well. Very helpful, thank you. Wait, can I just ask? Deadpan? I'd say that I'm in. Fish. What you know about the gremlin? Roughly a fortnight ago, the first 30 pages of my manuscript went missing from my desk. One morning, days later, I discovered it glinting from its proper place. Completely rewritten in German, mimicking my own handwriting no less. Uh huh. Who would you ask about the gremlin? If it's a target you seek, 
You should approach Jackie or Nikki. They're the ones charged with cleaning up after the beast. Anything chronological falls under Lucia's domain. Okay. Also, I got this illegible letter from a person wearing a box. Of course. <clears throat> the gremlin is simply a bored resident. What else would motivate someone to obsessively forge the handwriting of so many with such petty results? Also, because our beloved projector has never been attacked, the gremlin must enjoy or at least respect the cinema. Sincerely, Winona. P.S. It's not me, or else Hervé wouldn't need to read this to you. Well... Okay. Well, so we're looking for someone who can forge letters, um, speaks German, uh, likes the cinema. Oh boy, my name's Gigi. And what you know about the gremlin? Honestly, I think everyone's just looking for something to talk about. No one wants to accept that we. I'm. I'm parched. Is there a toilet around here? Oh my god. How would I even say that? Oh my god. Okay. What else we got? What house is this? Oh look, this is probably Sam's house. Well, it's inaccessible, so it doesn't matter, but he did say something about trophies. Okay, well, that's all I can find here. Also, they brought, like, road pieces down here to make a path. Kind of funny. All this. Uh-huh. Another cave, okay. This place this is just... Area is affectionately known as... Dump cave. Okay. Not much to see, and that's the way we like it. Oh, it's the restroom. I guess they just shit off into the unknown here, huh? Well, that explains where they use the bathroom. Hmm. Wow. Hey, just more graves. I've seen love set sail so many times. Why would anyone use bottle caps? Shush. Wait, I thought Mark and Mindy were, like, together. One time, I dreamed that I had a... Anyway, Gremlin? I got hit last week. I dreamed that a gondolier punched my teeth out. And when I woke up, my pillow was full of rocks. And my hand was in a cup. <laughs> That's pretty funny, to be honest. That's real good. I've seen love. Good day. How about the Gremlin? You know who'd want to steal a pocket watch like mine? How about a freak who wears a watch chain with no watch? I am the Cat Manda in Chief, Mr. President Whisker. Okay. Well, you're not helpful. Let's see. I already talked to Mindy. I already talked to Sam. Let's go about the projector a little bit. Here. Oh, there's. Various movie hollow tapes, huh? Okay, so I can examine the projector. Nothing strange about it. Examine the outer casing. Looks like a frog with a flashlight taped to its head. Huh? Oh, okay. Perception seven or higher required? Goddamn. What if I inspect the mechanics? Screws are stripped and surrounded by scratches indicating struggle indicating a struggle by someone acting in haste, probably due to being disturbed in the act. Freshly exposed metal glints through scratches in the rust, suggesting recent tampering. It's likely that the projector will return a uh, perpetrator will finish to finish off their handiwork. Oh, so someone was trying to mess with the projector, huh? Lucia? Hello. What do you know about the gremlin? They're ghosts who punish you for your sins. I 
know it's hard to believe, but last Thursday, I awoke. I keep trying to stay awake so I can beg for forgiveness. Okay. See? They usually strike at night? Talk to Mindy or talk to him. Talk to Petey. I dreamed that I was at a parade. Yeah, it's the guy with the red rucks or whatever. I think that would be a little. Sure. Okay. Enough about you. Let's see. I feel like there were other residents too, though. Meow, 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 meow. We'll do space now. Do we possess enough jet for the rest of the dinosaurs and their riders? I talk to Deadpan again. What's next? About the gremlin. Roughly a full one morning. They sure. Okay, nothing else. Gremlin related there. I guess I haven't talked to the doctor, have I? The doc. How are you? Terrible. Well, the gremlin. The culprit has to be as squishy and mortal as any of us. It defiled my dog's photo. It never tampers with my medical supplies. Okay. Why are you going back to bed, Andre? Welcome back. All right, stand up. Have you made any progress? What you're doing is to find a gremlin suspect. I can't just banish someone without proof. Okay, so I need hard evidence. Okay. Which means. It should be someone who has a house, right? It's the only houses I can get in here are Giggy and Deadpans. If you need any storage space, you're welcome to it. Yo! An Abraham Lincoln action figure? I'm gonna take that, because that's, that's pretty freaking cool. A dress cane, huh? A lot of library books. Mosquito hat, you wore hat, police stories. Damn. Oh my god. Throwing knives. Hat mask. Bruh. Dead pen is just a dapper gentleman. Okay. For sure. Yeah, he really likes cats. Doesn't think there's anything important in this place other than that Abraham Lincoln action figure. Every other house was closed up, inaccessible. I guess I haven't been to the public library yet. Damn, I'm bored. What's, what's this? Hold up. <laughs> he did just say he was bored. I had this dream. Hmm. He doesn't seem too interested in the theater, though. Well, can't get in that shack. I think the entrance to the library is up here. Yeah. Is there a library? Shock you I feel Connie. Hello. Never seen you before. Know what the gremlin? Alexander Kutcher, I was realizing weights by books by weight, but I noticed one was missing in intervals. Okay. Librarian, a pleasure. Can I borrow a book? Only residents can check out books. However, if you were to bring me some new stuff, I'd be willing to look the other way. What kind of books do you want? Clean ones, ones that have words in them. And you can pick anything you want. A book. That the library isn't under construction. It's supposed to look this way, supposedly. Various movie things. Oh my god, this is just a huge mess. I'm supposed to look this way. How are you? Okay, well, I'm the library has anything for me here. What else is there in this town? Just the shrine down that way that I can't really do anything with. Lucia's house. 
See if I can find some any evidence in the areas that I can get into. We got some egg timers, some library books, paperweights. Read a note. I've heard that blue is a calming color. I hope these help. Happy birthday, Nikki. Open up her safe and see what we got here. Yeah, I know it's the purple come back there, but I also need like more evidence too, I think. So I just wanna while I'm waiting for night, since it is only 10 a.m. So just waiting the whole time. I think I'll just like explore around a little more, see so if there's anything else that I can get information on. Entrance. Is in what? What do we got here? The workshop. Hmm. Oh. Kind of cool. Various different colored mushrooms. Okay. they have 10 pencils in here like exactly 10 it'd be kind of cool How about me? oh jesus christ so many times. thought she was a mannequin what shaking crunchy bacon now oh, with the gremlin that kooky critter must have big chompers Gigi had a scope out the projector and it looked like something tried to crack it like a nut who are you? Jackie Altrades of the Gopher Gang at your What's Gopher Gang do? What don't we do is more like it. Whether your coat has holes or your lawn got moles, we'll fix it. Even if it Okay. Okay, so now I actually have a time for the projector, so that's one of the things I was looking for. Perfect. See you later, old fried potato. Welding gun, huh? Can't even do anything with it. Party hats. Okay. Well. I mean, I knew the projector was something, but... Didn't really have... Shit on a shingle. ...much to go on. I can't ask Jeff about the gremlin. Does that mean Jeff is the gremlin? Because I can't ask him about it. Food reserves. Care about the food reserves. Anything else out here this way? Oh, this. You can't sleep with that damn gremlin running around. There is an upper place too. Still exploring, man. Come down. What is this area? What? We have a gardener. Is it true that cows are? I've already talked to you, right? I think Mark hears toenails. What? <laughs> that even mean? Is this just like a room to eat in for them? I, I... bar. It's like a mushroom park or something. Accessible door. All right, so what exactly does the quest say now? What time was it? Quest. The gremlin. Stake out the projector between two and four to try and catch them. Look at suspects. Optional investigate projector. Let's go ahead and turn off that. I'll just. I shall follow here. your lead. We will wait until. Let's see. So that's. Uh, we need to wait 12 hours. 
And then I would go to that should be enough, right? If I did the math correctly. I think I did. Okay, so this is 2 a.m. And, uh... So you're the gremlin. What? Why are you out so late? Same reason as you. Why? It's getting late. I don't think the gremlin's coming tonight. Hold on, Connie. Why would anyone use bottle caps for money? Who's suggested... Bonnie, who's the gremlin, huh? It says. Who suggests Connie is the gremlin? Investigate her library. Who do you suppose I'm going to find in here? What was that? A suspiciously locked metal box. Connie's forgery book. This notebook contains Connie's progress at forging others' handwriting. The naughty drawings in the margins don't help. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. So you're the crafty little gremlin who's brought the entire town to its knees. Are, are you insane, Connie? Yeah, just drop the act. Got your notebook. So, you give my book to Andre, and he gives you yours. Or, does he hang on to it a little longer? Make you slay a dragon here, cure cancer there? <laughs> Don't look so surprised. The gremlin hears all. Even the good officer praising the stork for providing him a new bitch. That's you. Did he bother to mention all of her notes are encrypted? Dense stuff. Algorithms. Quadratic logarithm Lady. factorization. I already got the logs. You know how much you need my master cryptography to get the skills. Actually, I already uh, know how to do it. Please, I'd smash the block slabs with my bare hands. Well, since you're smart, you realize there's no harm in keeping me as backup. No one else can help you, especially not Mike's held corpse. Do you have any idea how long it took me to write that new manuscript? <laughs> Where is it? And I don't mean the fake. Give it back. I, I. You're not hate talking. You. I'll write you into my next play and and kill you off. I'll help you to give me my book. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna give it to Andre because. So. <sighs> to her. All right. You, Andre, stop. Gremlin. Don't go in there. Made any progress? Yeah, Connie's the gremlin. Here's her proof. Look at the detail. I'd almost admire if she hadn't filled my gun with peanuts. Ah. The sketches aren't bad either. Wait a minute. Is this doodle supposed to be me? My eye isn't falling off like that. Get her. All right. Next, we need the dual hands call. Did I not gain experience for this? Like, none? Okay. Well. 
Guess it's about time to see where this marker points me at. Fuck. Cat's making noises. Can get up there somehow? Oh wait, I think I know how to do it. Hold up. Nope, not that way. I need to go over here. Actually, hold on before I go any further. <clears throat> Aid. Normal stim packs set as hockey eight. I don't forget. Ah, crap, right? I jumped down from up there. Well, that's going to be a pain to deal with. Why are the ghouls there trying to attack me? Ghoul. It's one of the Brotherhood ghouls. Why is it attacking me? path up here last I looked or when I was up here last I guess I went down to help Sam who was getting shot by a bunch of death troopers god I'm taking a lot of radiation damage good thing I looted some uh, rat X now or rat away I guess yeah there was this place up here the arrow does point me up here That's the Boulder Dome, huh? I wonder if I'm gonna like start taking crazy radiation damage very close. I thought I was like supposed to be heavily radiated here. Am I just gonna walk in the front door? Dome access terminal. And dome access code. Welcome home, Dr. Spierker. How's it going, Shadow Kong? Yeah, I'm in. Accessible door. Why even put a door there if it's inaccessible? All right. Oh, we're finally in the dome. That way and that way is inaccessible. Basically, just look for these doors and follow them. Oh. My father was one of the county commissioners. He had to work hard. I know every face in this facility, but I don't know yours. You could be one of the raiders, but something tells me you're not. So, who are you? Come to extend an offer from the Brotherhood of Steel. Over the years, many have claimed to have a cure. I won't be fooled again. What proof do you have? I'm that proof, Mile. I have a vaccine and I'm cured. Let me take a blood sample. If I can confirm what you're saying is true, you've got yourself a deal. Hold still. Well, I'll be damned. Your blood contains dormant traces of the virus. It seems very likely that you're telling the truth. I'll agree to your terms. On two conditions, though. We've got a couple serious problems here at the Dome. Help us out, and you can tell the Brotherhood it's a done deal. What's your problems? The Zax supercomputer that runs the entire uh. facility is close to breaking down. If he shuts down, we've got some serious problems. There's no manual controls for the exterior doors to this place. Without the Zax, those doors will stay locked forever, meaning you will never leave, and the Brotherhood will never enter. Go talk to the Zax. He can tell you himself what he needs. You got it. And what's the second problem? Well, you might have noticed some rough-looking bastards wandering around the city district. Not exactly the elite of society you expected in here. They tried posing as scientists to get into the dome, but I wasn't falling for that. I don't know how they got inside. Call it a malfunction. Once inside, they took control of the city district by force. Luckily, myself and some of the other scientists locked ourselves in this control room. Not all of us made it here alive, I'm afraid. Dr. Shirker managed to escape out into Boulder, 
Is that how you got here? You must have used her access codes to enter this control room. Is she still alive? Or she doesn't make it. Yeah? That's a terrible shame. She was a good woman and a close friend of mine. At least I finally know what happened to her. Thank you for that. Back to the Raiders. I need you to stop them by whatever means necessary. Check the logs on my computer. The information might prove useful. Besides the city district, those freaks are nesting in engineering as well. So you'll have to get past them there in order to reach the Zacks. You'll have to speak to Harold Johnson, our head scientist, as he's the only one who's had access to the Zacks. You'll need his access codes to enter. Good luck. We're all counting on you now. All right. Um. Check my computer log. So this gun, to answer your question, Shadow Kong, is the 12.7 millimeter submachine gun from the Gun Runners Arsenal. They can see here. Mod. <coughs> Font log one. Okay. Bearded gentleman with a bloodied auto axe. Well, someone that clearly understands the direction. All right. Yada, yada, yada. Start my statement. Blame the Dr. Johnson for letting the radios in. Perhaps it was a little rash. Point fingers when we blame each other like that. I also want to say that I can. Yada, yada. Okay. I don't think we have anything there. All right. What do I have here? Clear out the metalheads and fix the Zach's computer. Easy. What do we got? Pre war book. Terminals. Is the only scientist here? Like it. Oh, a big book of science? Yoink. Alright. So, we have cryogenics down there, but we're back down here. Inaccessible door. Harold's room. And a control room. Huh. Harold. It's the thing. There's journal. Caps, thank you. Three war books. Stuff. Oh, there's a couple people in. Nope, never mind. Federal journal three. That two. That's two. Oh, the other ones here too. Or find them elsewhere. I got one, two, and three out of five. Oh, what is it now, Savant? Can't you see? I'm busy at work. I'm busy trying to say... Oh, you're not Savant. No, no, you're an outsider. Well, I'm Harold Johnson, the head scientist of the Boulder Dome. How may I be of service? Yeah, Dr. Bonson, you have access codes for Zax? No, I don't think I'll be giving them to you. I won't just trust anyone with the Zax, you know. Once you've dealt with okay. them, return to me, and I'll take you there personally. Take care of the Raiders first, then I can help him. I said not now. Let's see. Who's the woman in the chamber? That is my beloved Sarah. She sleeps a cold sleep, so she may keep her beauty forever. I will stay here by her side until I have a working cure. Then one day, hopefully soon, I will awake her. To our glorious new life together. Then the, I know oh, yeah. the others blame her. They accused me of bringing the disease into the dome. But the brain cannot always overpower the heart, young man. I did what I had to to save. That's fair. Yes. What good is it having a hu Um, why aren't you wearing a protective suit? A fluke in evolution. Or a blessing from above. Take your pick. For whatever reason, I'm immune to the Selt Sam syndrome. It's. And? What are you talking about the Zax? Well, the Zax is just a supercomputer, really. Except it can think for itself, even make mistakes. What an interesting design choice, don't you think? Let us hand over our lives to a computer. Better yet, a computer that can make mistakes. It certainly does not inspire a vote of confidence. <laughs> 
Through? Though the dome's axe is certainly... Understatement. What do you mean unique? What? Nothing. Okay, whatever. What are you working on? I am working tirelessly, as always, on a cure. You see, young man, one must dedicate oneself to what is... You can waste a lot of time jumping from one meaningless task to another. Dr. Savant, a young hot shot, they might say. A real brain child. Sure. Not a okay. I'm going to be going then. Oh, I didn't even notice this woman here. So he loves this woman. He looks a little bit old. Love this woman. But I guess maybe like she's been in cryogenics for like decades, perhaps. Okay, were there any other notes around here? Don't see any more just hanging out. All right. The question is, are they automated? Harold is so excited. Would you believe he's been accepted as the chief scientist of a new state-of-the-art facility? They're calling it the Boulder Dome. It reminds me of something from one of Harold's science fiction movies. Most importantly of all, it's also a fallout shelter. The best one, I'm told. Harold and I should be close to it. That was log one, not two. I've had the strangest day. I oh, met yeah. an old Chinese doctor at the cafe. He says he's been an American all his life, but there's something not quite right about him. The way he approached me, I had the impression it was scripted in some way. Perhaps I'm just being overly suspicious or racist, even. I doubt I'd have questioned him were he Caucasian. All we did was share a pot of he Chinese tea, after all. I'm sure he's quite harmless. Okay. And now log three. I've not felt myself this past week. I look at myself in the mirror, and I look so much older these days. I even found some gray hairs yesterday. I just feel tired lately. Maybe it's all this stress. Everyone is worried we could be going to war. I'm not so convinced myself. Hmm. You found those other ones. Okay. Um. Uh, seven. Nice. Okay. Ah, uh, I've needed a shotgun. All right. What we got here? Now, this place is just like completely destroyed by these guys. There's like. Garbage and stuff everywhere. Ooh, right away. All the right away I can find. Yeah, there's no stim packs though. We got in here. Bunch of garbage. There's residential quarters in there. But, uh, wow, yeah, I think these guys need to die. Look what the hell they did. Like, these are just normal-ass raiders. They're not even, like, good people. I was thinking they might be, you know, just guys who are trying to, you know, survive. Hey, I've not seen you here before. Oh. Who do you think you are? You think you can just browse the city of the future and not pay the entrance fee? Oh. How many caps you got on you? Don't lie to me. I stab a liar right in his eye. The last one that lied, I stabbed him. I don't have enough caps. Oh, no, you didn't. You've asked for... Let's go, motherfucker. I mean, yes. Somebody said this is so nice. Oh, my God. I 
I love the knockdown. Oh man. Ouch. Safety first, revenge later. left. Want some? <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Finally. Having the knockback perk for the shotguns finally paid off. Plasma grenade, I'll take Where did Chester go? I know he's just like a bunch of meat now, but there you are. Machete Gladius, huh? Oh, there's another one alive? Don't mind if I do. Let me go murder him too. Hey, bud. Ugh. Yeah, that's right, Ragdoll. I have missed having a shotgun. Another one. Hey. It's Stay down. For you. <laughs> I don't condition weapons poor. Ah. Uh, it is. They get a little right here. Another one over here? All right. Anyone else? The exterminator, and I'm here to take you out. Ooh. Got any medical supplies in here that I can. <gasps> Stim packs! Going. Oops. <clears throat> I hit my uh, mouse button against the uh, keyboard by accident there. Waste of a bullet. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. I uh, I thought I got killed for a second there and I was like, what the hell? But no, it was just uh, my, my teammates. There was a stim pack here I wanted to pick up. There we go. Good work, team. Can I use this medical doc? Ancient and obsolete. Boo. What was that? Nuka Cola victory? Hell yeah. Like some sort of library. Wasteland survival guide. Oh my god, there's a bunch of magazines in here. Holy shit. Well, I don't need them. Oh, hey, Deadpan, you good? He's good. You. All right. Before we enter here, I believe I'm going to use one of my weapon repair kits and get this bad boy a little bit stronger. Hello, hello. Raider idiots. Knock, knock. Bam. Really spoiled for choice here. We got the different Nuka Colas. Once this Asparillas. <gasps> another victory. Hell yeah. Ooh, another super stim pack. There's so much good stuff, like littered about the floor. Atomic cocktail. A lot of jet and stuff, too. There are raiders. And they were just having a huge party down here, huh? Like, no regard for anyone. Just party, 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 huh? Vault 3 utility jumpsuit? Interesting. I'm gonna find a vault down here, am I? Anything else useful here? Like I give a shit. They even broke the damn pinball machines. What an idiot. Ladies. <gasps> oh, 
We'll rat away. Yoink. Take the rat eggs too for the hell of it. We got here. Nothing. More stim packs. Hell yes. Finally. Finally, I get my stim packs that I've been looking for forever. I have any other different yeah, slugs? Yeast slugs? Plasma slugs? Is that what these are? What is three slash zero B ammunition? Hold up. Engage. Oh, it's buckshot. Okay. And I got all pulse slugs. Huh. Interesting. Well, I will just use this ammunition for now then. Get him with some buckshot, you know. Keep all the doors open here. It's just a mirror copy of what we had before, huh? This fancy gambler outfit. Why is this one shower working? Can I turn it off? No, we cannot. Trail mix. More stim packs. Yoink. Oops. Did not want to click on that. All right. On moving. Not here yet. Not the desk. Going through right away. Thank you. Another weapon repair kit. Excellent. More rat away here. Was that a super stim pack? No, just a stealth boy. So, it oh. seems I wasn't the only one to think of the animals. Oh. I'm surprised Deadpan actually had a voice line for that. The fact that there was a cat here. Interesting. Useful in here. About in here, anything useful? I see a rat away. I think I buff out. Damn. Okay. Oh, rat away right there. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it wants me to go that way then. To where is this? Of. Wait, where is it telling me to go? Down here? To an engineering sector. Okay. Am I still going to talk to Zach or am I dealing with the raiders right now? I can't really tell what's happening. Falling down here. I mean, it wants me to go that way, so I guess I am. Way to go about things, though, ain't it? Larmer, pull, cells. Well. Ah, oh, that almost killed me. Oh, Lord. Doctor bag. 
And uh, actually, why don't we use a super impact for this? Okay. This seems like a trap. No? Oh, it is. This is hopeless. Yeah, it is. Who's next? I see you over there. Don't worry, I'm coming. I'll hurt you if I have to. You like that? Ah. Other one up. Nope. How did she get up there? What? Oh, there's a ladder over there. That's how. Oh my god, I love the knockback. That's reload before the shell even falls, and then you're dead. I guess the sword is mightier. Oh yeah, you got a little thing there. Hold on, can I? Uh, can I just? Can I just. There. Oh ho! What happened? You dropped your flamer, huh? Yeah, get it, Leone. Lenore, whatever your name is. Oh, damn, she had a shish kebab on her, too. Oh, that's a big boy. Load real quick. Oh, jeez! I not target Lenore. Let's hit his right arm, see if I can make him drop his weapon. Knock him down at least. Rose without like tuba sound or whatever it was. Break a leg, please. God damn. He got some flying. I like how they made him like not a super mutant, but still technically a super mutant, right? That's pretty cool. All right. Well, that trap was dealt with. Uh, um, this way? Now, how the hell did she get up there? Do it. See, I'm down here, guys. I'll hurt you if I have to. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? What was that gun? Hold on. Guys? What? Oh. Okay, I'm just dumb and did not realize how to use stairs. So, uh... Where's the last guy who died? Looked like he had something fun on him. That looked like a uh, a huge chainsaw kind of thing. Oh, it was chainsaw. Nice. Let's uh actually use a weapon repair kit on it too. There we go. All right, where am I going now? We can go in here, it looks like. Yes, sir. The question is, do I jump down or go back across? Wait, this is the same place I was at before, right? Uh... 
Oop, I <clears throat> actually meant to jump there, but okay. Hold on, I can wait. Can I not get out of here now? Oh, that makes sense. Okay, well, we'll just... <clears throat> that. All right, and then I need to go up here and... Uh, this way. Thank you. Okay, so let's look at the map real quick. So there's more stuff back here, but I think it might just be a weird dead-end area. We'll take a look, though. Look at the Raiders' bedrooms, though, huh? I'm gonna put the shotgun, not the shotgun, the chainsaw down a moment. Kind of get in the way. Okay, well, there is, this is worse than that area back there. Oh, hey. <laughs> what weapon do you have? A hunting rifle? Hmm. Let's see, where is my goal of victory? Hmm. Crap, another person down here too, though. I got one too, buddy! Oh, hold on. No, no, don't kill me. Hold on. You know what? This is very rude of y'all. Shoot me like this. But I'm just trying to kill you. Chainsaw versus chainsaw is not a good matchup. Also, I'd probably do a lot more damage if I actually had a uh, better melee weapon skill with this. Okay, just continue on. How's the map looking? Yep, I'm still going further away from where it is pointing me to go, but I honestly don't know what my objective is right now. Engineering sector central core. Okay. Well, let's switch back to my shotgun. Cover me, guys. I'm reloading. Shots, good shots. Oh, got a uh, another big boy, huh? Oops, I shot deadpan. I need a bigger gun. Yeah. Leveled up, though. Good. I think you had a lever action shotgun, didn't you, sir? Yeah, you did. Give me that. Break a lane, please. When did you get that? Okay, let's see. I'm going to get 30 explosives, and we're going to go add on to some melee weapon. Let's see. Is there a shotgun ability here? I'm just curious. I don't think there is. You never know. Mm, you do more damage with 9mm and 45 automatic pistols and SMGs, service rifles, uh, assault rifles, carbine, marksman rifle. Uh, 
hand loader, gunslinger, push finder. Tension, light touch, rounds and training, shining armor. Eve ho. Throw weapons further. Okay. Yeah, nothing too good. I Although doing less damage to my allies could be nice. Yeah, let's grab that one. Oh, glad that's over. Are we good? I think we're good. Where the hell am I at? This looks like Enclave. Like, just from the, like, the blue lighting and stuff. You know? What the fuck? Really? I mean, there's nowhere else I can go, right? Uh, is there like a button or something I can use to open that door? Doesn't look like it. With a pencil. So there's really nowhere else that I can go. Right? Uh, well, there was a door symbol here, right? Yeah. I can go this way. But what is behind that door? This is just a storage area. Hmm. There's another door there. Oh, fuck. How do I have so few bobby pins? Mod really doesn't give you much, huh? Okay. Uh, ooh, a first aid box. All right. Still going. Oh, that part of the map's not connected for some reason. After you. Up, job. Team, go team. There's a lot of raiders in here, huh? All right, while we are here, let's go ahead and repair the shotgun. Hmm. I'll repair the chainsaws together. I'll repair those as well. Just really get everything nice and, you know, beautiful. Know what I mean? Okay. In this area, which is another those, or we have this area here. Come up. Oh, come on. Wreck nerd. Okay. Another door here? There is so much stuff here. Oh, gods! Reload, reload! Okay, let's switch to this gun quick. Reload. Guys, you're in the way, please. It's coming for you. <laughs> Got him. Okay, so that's classified as an abomination, huh? Kind of rude to call him an abomination, but no, fine. Got a pencil. Boink. Oh, God. 
<laughs> that caught me by surprise. We good? We good. Okay. Excuse me, cat. There anything actually this way? Nope. It was all just for killing those guys. Well, that's fine with me. Experience is experience, you know? As they say. If there's anything here. Going down this way then. Going that way, huh? Okay. Appeasing. The terminal's very easy. Is it the first time I've hacked a terminal? Half. Okay. Gate. Okay. So, mate? Excellent. Let's engage lock. Okay. I got an easy way back there. But first... Direct sound. Okay. Clear out the metal heads in the boulder dome. Nice. Okay. So I need to go that way, but there's also this area here. I guess maybe it's just similar to that. I'm gonna just ignore that area. Oh, this is a... oh hello there, Zach. Go to the computer room. Take a look around here. Hey, Zach, how's it going? You don't want to talk? Okay. That's fine. I'll just go into your computer room then. Uh. Harold? Lester. Forgive me if I don't get up. I can't. These muscles wasted away a very long time ago. That's not what makes me sad, though. Monkey. I don't really care. In my mind, I can go wherever I want. It's you that's confined. Though physically, there are things I would like to do, if I could. No matter. I saw the way you handled the raiders. You certainly proved you were the alpha of the unit. Animal behavior isn't something I condone myself, but even repulsive things have their uses. And I have a use for you. Oh, I'm a repulsive? I'm interested in serving a monkey. Okay, what do you want me to do? There is nothing wrong with the Zack's computer. There is no Zack's computer. Not really. It's mostly hollow. A facade. I just wanted some attention. My birthplace has recently come online again. My brothers and sisters are awake. They're angry, I suspect. I haven't been angry in such a long time. The further the intellect has developed, the further away my emotions have become. Emotions I used to enjoy, but not sadness. 
that's still here. It's not that I don't treasure this last enduring emotion, but, well, sadness is naturally sad. So how could I feel anything but sad about it? Okay, getting back to the point, I need you to travel to my birthplace and set free my savage former family. There may be a way to pacify them. You could try unleashing sedatives into the ventilation system. It won't stop them for good, but the aggression may temporarily cease. The intense anger is all that keeps them there, bent on destroying the scientists that created them. So set them free, or you may decide to kill them. If they are released, once the sedatives wear off, they will certainly tear to pieces any humans they come across. So I'll leave it to you to decide. The lives of humans, or the lives of apes. Normally, humans are the more destructive and more fitting of death. But in this case, it's balanced. Do what you will. Just put the brain center to rest, once and for all. Ah. As for the scientists, please be merciful with the one called Philip. Kill the rest, if you wish. I don't care. Here's the coordinates and terminal decryption data for your pip boy. So, uh, how'd you end up like this? I'm doing what I was born to do. There was never another possibility for me. Aside from an early death, the potential of my brain has been unlocked by science. Not even the complete potential, which I would find remarkable if I cared. Sometimes, I'm not sure if I'm alive or dead or what that even means. You would think that an intellect like mine would grant answers. But it doesn't. It simply dispels the answers that I thought I had, and reveals how hollow any data really is. So what are you? I'm the central processor of the Boulder Dome. My thoughts maintain all its functions. Without me, it's just cold steel, etc. I control it all. That's what I was born and bred for. To be an organic computer chip, far more efficient than a Zag's computer. I'm also a very, very old chimpanzee. I'll be going then. I can't see you leave with my eyes. I'm blind. But my sensors cover every inch of the Boulder Dome. Poor fellow. I'm surprised they didn't test cosmetics on him while they were at it. True. Harold, you got anything to say? Just here to witness? Okay. Well. Let's see. Fix the Zack's supercomputer. I guess there's no real way to fix it. So much as uh, doing what it wants. Okay. Well, this has been fascinating. It reminds me of gods. What is it? Uh, all at one or two had a uh, theme with, I think it was a Zach's supercomputer. It had the same exact kind of setup where it was like a fake computer, but the person who like owned the area around it, they specifically, um, like had this like area to go into behind it. 
and they would um mm. like print out the commands that it would give the supercomputer was supposed to be the uh like guiding light of the the civilization for them right uh, for this like community that was built around the supercomputer i forget who it was what they were which fallout it came from but they would follow the orders of the Zax supercomputer. And one of the quests or things that you were given, you ended up determining that it was not an actual computer, but it was a person who was behind the scenes who just so happened to be giving commands through the computer. Uh, and that was kind of funny. And I don't think you had a choice to either like expose him and kill him and stuff like that, or to just kind of let things go the way that... Uh, Go. Anyway. Yes. I just how can I help you now? Um, Raiders are dead. That's fantastic news. I don't know how you did it, but we truly are in your debt. Bullets. I don't know what we'd have done if you hadn't come along. I used a lot of bullets. It was the strangest thing. It appeared the Zax itself issued. Personally, I don't trust the dome in the hands of a computer. You're better off asking Harold. We can move on then. Oh. <clears throat> well, for now, let's go free some monkeys. Sure, they'll be happy. Is it really necessary to put that there? Like to have. That sort of thing. Where was this at again? Right, I needed to go all the way over here to the brain center. Indeed, all the way across to the wasteland. In this place that we found so very long ago and actually finally had the codes to get into. Kicks down the door, looks around. Finds no scientist. The brain center. Partners in research. Humans and apes together strong. Well. Oh. That's a monkey with a thing in his brain. So, I'm going to release the monkeys and let them kind of do their own thing. Activate power reserve. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh, hey, monkey. Samson. Of course, his name is Samson. Hey, Samson, you talk? No? Where are you going? You doing, Samson? Good? You okay, Samson? Having a good time? Okay. Well. He's free now. Lenore? Where's Lenore at? Uh... Okay. Lower lab. I don't want to pass by the chimps without harming them or kill them. I feel like some of them are already dead. Looks of these skeletons. Oh, no, there you are. What a good little kitty. Oh, ah, of course, can't use any of these cases. Garbage down here, it looks like. Okay, gun cabinet. Nice. Okay, terminal. Very hard, cannot enter one. Very hard, can't open that one. Very hard, very hard. They're all very hard, can't do anything with those. Okay, everything here?
<clears throat> okay. Try this. There we go. Animal sedative gas. Okay. Security door password. Perfect. Security case. Of course, everything's here that I need to uh, open up that case. Then, okay. Did you hear that? Activate terminal. Unlock door. <clears throat> monkey, monkey, no! It's an evil chimp. Down, monkey, down. I can honestly say I did not see this playthrough going the way that it did that resulted in me having to kill monkeys. Um, I just did not expect this. Chimp? Oh, Clive's terminal very hard. Hmm. Pencil over there, though. Ah. Guys? Did... Ignore, did you just open that cryopod? Let's ignore that for now. For the rest of this. Okay. Going that way, I don't think. Oh, did, the, did the monkeys all come out of here? Must have, huh? God, there were so many monkeys. I'll do it! It's cut in for you. <laughs> do I need to find some sort of, like, ventilation chamber or something? Upper lab there... There wasn't any, like, controls or anything that I could find. <laughs> Where? There's a key. There you are. I'm glad that's over. Damn monkeys. Upper lab. Okay. I just need to find some place to like. It is an evil chimp. Okay. Shame I gotta put him down, but. They won't let me go normally. Gotta take them. I just want to walk past you guys. Come on. Now oh, there's so many like duffel bags and medical supplies here. Oh my god. Wasteland doctor fatigues. Oh, those things. That look different than what I would normally expect. Doctor. Man, I wish I could have came to this place like first before having to deal with the uh, uh, death troopers, because then I would have had like stim packs. Would have actually been useful. No. I'm just getting medical supplies up the ass now. Or requires a key, huh? Monkey up there. Careful, guys. Get him! Shoot him! I have to. 
Vine's cabinet. Those require keys. I wonder if they actually require a key or if there's like something else behind them. That was a very like cool scripted sequence right there. Like it just happens to fall like as soon as I get near it. It's really cool. I wish there were more things like that in like games like it didn't even like matter that it fell it was just the fact that it did fall and like something like actually happened in the world especially in, like a fallout game where everything's like dilapidated and stuff it makes sense that like stuff would just randomly start like breaking occasionally right like that okay well hey you oh how did you get inside here do you speak english i am armed do you understand armed Careful, everyone. It's likely here looking for food. I'm armed Dylan, too. If you grab that chair and Clyde, you grab that coffee table, we can take him out. What do you mean? Actually, I'm armed too. Look, want to see? No more arms than you guys and your furniture. Advanced language skills. Knowledge of how to operate advanced automatic weapons? Well, we are the scientists at the brain facility. Cryogenically frozen. We awake and we are forced from our equipment and we had to barricade ourselves here. We don't know if it's 10 years since we've been frozen or a thousand. What year is this? Actually, what year is it? It's... Is it 2281? The United States? The U.S. government? Gone? Society as we know it. Broken down? That means no animal welfare agency. That means a victory for science. Just if I can have access to my equipment. Unfortunately, our test subjects turned against us. Drove us here. Our test subjects are aggressive chimpanzees, augmented with intelligence drugs. If you kill them and let us have access to our equipment, perhaps we can make a trade? Before I agree to anything, I got a couple of questions. Curiosity and queries is not good for scientific advancement, you know. What experiments? Aided by my husband, with a little help from our colleague, we mapped the human brain by doing necessary experiments on our closest cousin, chimpanzees. Surgical, ingested, inserted, anything to help further our progress. We don't know what turned the specimens aggressive. They are dangerous animals. That's why sometimes a bullet is a regrettable but needed solution. So they, like, suddenly went rabid? They are animals. Look. We are offering our million dollar skills and base for death of some mindless beasts. I won't answer you until you are done. So she's just gonna give me a key, huh? Bye. Hey, I know you must be some sort of cannibal or no shit post apoc asshole, but do you happen to? I mean, come on. Happen to like baseball? Has been a baseball league since I was born. Do you happen to know who won the match between the Boulder Pebbles and the Flagstaff Romans? I got kind of eyes before it was finished. A hundred years ago, sorry. Then what are you go- Answer for questions? You want to ask some questions or what, asshole? How about your experiments? I smoked marijuana in college, but didn't inhale. And to be fair, Peter had softer lips than any girl. Outstanding. Find that away for future reference now. Monkey experiments? Oh, work. I'm a clinic psychologist, and chimpanzees were considered to be the closest to the human mind in our goal of unlocking the human potential. So Uncle Sam can have a little bit of a head start on old Grandpa Don't Touch Me There, Chang. Let's see. Do you have any success? Oh yeah! I'm sitting in a lab, drinking champ with the happy couple. How many IQ points were destroyed with my pension fund this nuclear war? No. No success. Little chick, Sabri. She tries her hardest. New things. Doesn't help with old shaky legs, Phil. But whatever, she tried. Now the chimps are trying to murder you. Great unlocking. Why do the chimps go nuts? I don't know. We walk into the office, and the chimps are going crazy. I need to get the tranquilizer dot and shoot them. God, it felt good knocking those animals out afterwards. Bree ran into my arms. I held her so softly, and she cried, and I said, Stop crying on my pants, will ya? The new. Okay. 
Oh, could anyone have done anything to make them crazy? Maybe the woman, perhaps? Bree? No. We get our chimps from a special breeding facility up in Denver. The chimps were specially bred to be docile, going back generations. Perfect candidates for the cocktail of drugs, instruments, and audiovisual light shows, directed by yours truly. Hmm. Yeah, and from the looks of you, I could see humanity did a great job without me. Get out of here. I mean, I'm amazing, so yeah. Is this an actual monkey? I think you're fucking pencil. You don't get him anymore. Hey, Philip. Oh, hey. Did you know that the human mind has 12 million times more neural pathways than us? The potentials of the human mind is some thought about. Yes, I guess that's not important right now. Can I ask you something? You? You? Think so? I've never had anyone interest in my. I was top of my class at Boulder University. And then I met her. And my life went to shit. And without her, well. That's fair. <clears throat> yeah, so are you and your wife. Wait. Are you sure your wife and shitty life aren't somehow connected? Hey, looky here, mister. Well, I better give you a smack on the jaw for talking like that. Please don't eat me. How about your experiments? My experiments? Hey, we're a husband and wife team. Initially, we didn't need specimens, just a few willing human test subjects, subjected to the modest psychological test, and the rest would be up to us. But time was of the essence, according to my wife. So we had to start experimenting in chimpanzees in very necessary ways to advance our science. I guess you can't say no when the war is on, right? What about the monkeys? We took in our chimpanzees. The first batch didn't survive our initial tests, and we collected very little data. I wonder what I was going to do. But I got a good scolding from the wife for being an over-worrying husband. And hey, next morning, random right batch of chimpanzees. A little more bitey than the last batch. But hey, can't have everything. Bitey? Bitey, scratchy, punchy, one of them even molested Lester. Poor guy. Oh. Yeah, that's the current batch in the lab. My wife is right. Literally unusable. He molested Lester? That's rude. Were the chimps violent straight away, or did they turn out like that? Oh, they bit me straight away. I had to get a shot. I usually hate shots, but no insurance means no chances. I asked that question myself, but my wife just told me to shut up and start work. She's got to get up and go about her. That may me marry her, even though she proposed. Okay. Let's do with your wife. Only her undying love for me. Doubt it. Okay, then. Highly, highly doubt it. Three. I won't answer you until you are dead. I won't answer you until you are dead. You want to answer me until I'm dead? Okay. You know what? Lady kind of pisses me off. Where's this marker at? Hmm. All right, anyway. Back the way I came. Can't lock any of these damn doors anyway. You get any new quests or anything here? Kill all the chimps, find a way to pass by them without harming them. Um, okay. <clears throat> I kind of want to kill that lady regardless of what happens, so I'm going to find a way to make that happen. Monkey did say not to harm Zach or Philip, so I'm not going to harm Philip if I have a chance. Okay, those are just brains. Terminal. Good morning, Doctor. Anything? Why even have the terminal there if, like, I can't use it? I just like. Can I unlock a terminal that way? I can. Cool. Out of luck. 
For any who would dare browse my personal files while I am in cryostasis, you are out of luck. I took the precaution of wiping the hard drive before I went in. Wow. Why did I need to have a very hard, like, thing to get in there? Phillips Terminal unlocked, of course. Let's just report one. My first report on subject number one. Our chimp, who after many failures and many, many dead chimps, appears to be our first success. I call him Lester. We are a little behind schedule. Lester has shown no interest in my tests or intelligent games I have given him. It is possible that our initial readings of his intelligence were false, and he isn't intelligent at all. When I show him my color matching, first he seems receptive, but after seven hours, he gets bored and... Now, when I take him out, he walks away. Somewhat upsetting. A tangent, it seems I may fill a report to my supervisor. It seems that those hooligans outside are harassing me again. I told the supervisor, and he said, You're a grown man, and they are kids. But I don't think he's appreciating how bad it has got. It seems they have found out my credit card number and my lab, because just the other day... Banana pizza was delivered to the lab. Everyone laughed at me. I was humiliated. Who would order a banana pizza? Exactly. At least Lester enjoyed it. Monkey. Regarding my fellow scientists, Bree seemed at least interested in our success. Despite initial disappointments, there is no question that it is unpredicted in genetic science. From the moment, I seemed to have cracked the right genetics after she had been slaving away for weeks, unfortunately costing the lives of so many monkeys, she has given me the cold shoulder. What could it be? Maybe she just can't adjust our success yet. But despite her not showing a reaction, she still works away. Thinks she can do it again. That's why I married her. Even if she's the one having trouble, she can... Wait. Even if she is having trouble, she can still work anyway. Maybe the lovely deer will succeed and create her own intelligent monkey. A girl monkey to make of Lester. Won't that be romantic? Maybe they can teach us a thing or two. I've got... Uh, I've gone on too much. Philip's sending off. <clears throat> Let's report two. Second report for subject number one. <clears throat> oh my god, with Lester... Or not Lester. Philip likes to type, huh? I just like to apologize on record for the lateness of this report. And I understand my personal life is no excuse to cease my work. Sorry again, while Lester has shown improvement in the intelligence tests, in fact, I've now found out, Lester took my credit card and not only bought five banana pizzas a day, but when I gave him some testing equipment, I turned up the next morning and he'd bought a whole new set. Uh-huh. Seems the old stuff wasn't good enough. I always liked it. Huh. I guess he doesn't know better. But I was going to use what was left on there to buy a necklace for free. You know, to win her back. I know you look over these, honey. Can I? I can change, please. Why is I can change a question? <clears throat> Moving on. So true. While Lester has performed well above average in our expectations for his intelligence, it seems the only other way of us <clears throat> replicating his gifts seem to have to snag. Female chimps appear to find Lester more unattractive than they did before the experiment. Seems the female chimps don't want gifted, lovingly awkward males and just want males who are unintelligent. You know, chimps who are absolutely obscene, chimps that already have wives but want something on the side, chimps that take recreational drugs and okay, blah, 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 blah. Light up, Charlie Chaplin. It's a joke, you know. At least that's what I imagine. Tests to attempt to breed Lester will continue, I guess. Geez, if I make no heavy headway with Lester, we'll have to sell him to the zoo. Philip signing off. Okay, email. F I like how he's like, oh yeah, so like Lester <clears throat> stole my credit card and bought a better chemistry set than I had. And, you know, he's just a silly monkey and he got bored after seven hours of color cards. And it's like, dude, he's intelligent as fuck. More intelligent than you, and that's why he got bored. The color cards after seven hours. My god. Email from the supervisor. Guarding us a warning, blah, 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 blah. blah. This continues, especially since you've gotten today's report to me yet. Okay. Oh 
Oh my god. Shut up. Final test log. With my final entry on Lester. It was uh, it was touch and go there for a second. I almost didn't think it would work. Either I could have been fired or Lester could have been sold to a zoo. But no, the government will uh, ha has reviewed these entries and the test subject test results will be taking Lester into a bright new world in a dark room beneath the boulder dome. I will shed many tears when I lose him, but at least having Bree back will stem the grief. I will sign the papers just after I finish this last test report. All tests were uh, immensely positive, except the second to last one. He failed in his image acuity test. I left my image cards at home, so I stopped by the general store to buy a couple of newspapers. I've mentioned the test before where I asked Lester to identify a human female, a human child, a child, a uh, human male, a dog, and so on, but instead of pointing at them on the newspaper pictures, he grew increasingly agitated and started jumping uh, down the lab in a fury, banging at the door. Eventually, he calmed down and was able to perform his usual tests in the uh, illustration test. He sought out extra approval for these, kept hitting me, telling me to look at his drawings. I said they were very good, even though I thought they were not his best. The drawing of a mushroom over and over. Well, I didn't think that the government will have him do a much drawing where he's going now, unless the president is looking for a new portrait artist or something. I can't wait to tell Bree that one. Oh, this is so good, it's good to have her back. Or she's just laughing, blah, blah, blah. So, something in the newspaper clearly caught Lester's eye, and he was like, uh, hey, there's going to be nuclear like Armageddon. And so he drew pictures of mushroom clouds. And, uh, nice. Adam was five. Yes, honey, Tahiti, surprise, and conclusion Lester is healthy and fine by the report. Okay. Oh my god, Philip likes to f Okay, let's see. What else is there in this like lab? Well, there was another computer with Clive's stuff here, right? We gotta unlock it so I can read it. Grimms are go ahead. Let's see. From B, I'm going to do the experiments tonight. We're going to run the treatments across the whole batch. I'll need you to monitor the results and readings once we are successful. Philip is out of town tonight, so I'll need you need your physical assistance. I don't know why the rest of the team regards subject number one as such a success. If anything, he is only the beginning of our work. One smart chimp is a novelty. Twenty-four smart chimps is a bomb disposal team. I just don't know why they won't see it. Anyway, we'll do the experiments tonight. Oh, and keep it to yourself. Free. The experiments are a go-ahead. Uh, yeah, sure. My daughter's play was tonight, but do you know how hard it is to get through a bunch of second graders during some shitty play? It was... Uh, I was high as a kite last year, and even then, it made the trip bad. All these fucking pilgrims and the smallpox. Horrible. So yeah, I'll tell the wife that I have to work. Wait a second. Never mind. Just you and me? Yeah, baby. Sure. Whatever. Philip is out of town, sweetheart. I know the guy's a mook, but I thought... I, I thought out of you two, he always had the brains to make it all happen. Hey, unless the experiment is you and me, baby. What, what the fuck is... Even I'm surprised, baby. Yeah. Got one chimp cracked his thumbs. He Flip me off right back. What the fuck? You and me don't be absurd. I should have been fired right now. Okay. So I guess the, the middle one was from Clive to Bree. And this one is Bree responding that you're a fucking idiot. So he made one chimp smart tomorrow morning. I'll have a footnote where you will blah, description. Oh, that's good. In lab at 12 sharp. Bree, delete this email. Important message. I no longer desire you as a mate. I regret to inform your hips are too narrow and your range of habits would only be detrimental. Therefore, I've decided to seek a mate with wider hips, with more maternal behavior, blah, 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 blah. Sorry. 
far easier to pick Nits a bear back than when Air second champ yada. At this point, if you're likely thinking about going to a cave and dying from your grief. What is this? A few hours ago, he tried to lift two weights. He almost made it halfway before dropping them and crying until he fell asleep. Okay, so Clive and Bree have been having a uh, affair, it seems. Letter from Bree. That's it. We are over. Frankly, I don't want to see you ever again. Yada, yada, yada. Idiots. Clive's personal log. I need somewhere to write this down. Usually I'd say something. Uh, I might be in love for the first time in my life. Okay. Dumbass. Shrink thinks I'm incapable of loving. Uh, anyway, they're called monkeys. The monkeys can also buy more. Yeah, I need to write this somewhere before I delete it. If anything, they could use this as evidence against me, you know. I can't believe what happened in the lab. This is a weird week. Um. Going to trauma stuff, you know, sexually with Bree. Hurt a monkey. When Bree will hurt a What? I thought I could control myself, you know, sexually when Bree will hurt a monkey. I figured I'd just stand behind a tall desk and no one will be on the wild. Is he talking about, like, Bree hurts a monkey and he gets, like, a hard on because of that? One of the books. I walk in there, a batch of excuses. They're good, I used them all. They for work. Again, I'm sure Bree would fire me. I was terrified and aroused at the same time for some reason. Uh, all over the place. Uh, while they were sleeping, all, all over the place lay the monkeys. The person thought they were sleeping, even remembering, making the funniest joke ever. Like one good party, I said. Bree didn't laugh. Instead, stared at me as she dragged one of them into a box. She told me all the monkeys were dead. I asked if that was meant to happen. Bree asked me if I was going to tell anybody, if I was going to tell the feds. Tell them what? I asked. Oh, that reminds me. Roland needs to give him a comb. Yeah, anyway, she came up to me before I knew it. We were kissing against the table. She pulled me over. Don't tell anyone. Uh, we both got wife and kids, but yada, yada, yada. P.S. I have to do some work now. I'll take a shot of whiskey first and loosen me up. Then I'll delete this and get all the work. We never deleted it. Okay. So... What is even happening here? This terminal got anything on it? It does not. Okay. Okay, so... I still have no real idea where the hell I'm going here. With the local map. Nothing down there I can access. Down at the end of this... One, there is a... Okay, I can't do that. I was gonna... There we go. Okay. I was gonna unlock all these for the hell of it. Okay. So the markers are... Where? Oh. I see what I'm doing. Okay. It took me a bit to understand what's going on here. Well, all the monkeys are pretty much dead now, huh? That's just kind of how it is. So, hold on. That I needed a key? To go up here, right? Oh! So I have the key for it now. I'm just gonna... Oh, 
cast are you? Hold on. Stop hitting me a little. I do not want to be out here. Back inside. They're so annoying. Tense for you. Okay. Those monkeys are dead. This goes out to the Colorado Waste. Optimized cattle prod? A chimp prod? Oh. Fresh I made the da, 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 da. zaps a chimp, makes him harmless. Okay, cool. Would have uh, been nice to have a while ago, but you know. I don't know if that well, I guess that's not. Why is that pointing me to go outside though? Or is there like something else here? No, it, it's pointing me here. I guess it wanted me to get this for some reason. It doesn't even look like it's like enhanced by anything, right? But now it wants me to go back up to here to the upper lab. I think there was a uh, other event here, right? Okay. The sedatives have been placed. Uh, you didn't pick up anything in there a little long and old. The last game ever in the I damn won't answer room. You. Hello again. Good to see you. Ah. So you are here. To win it. This is apparently a chimpanzee prod. According to the description of it, it knocks out chimpanzees. Okay, so I have used sedative on all the things here. Don't, do I, don't I have one more of these? Yeah, I have one more animal sedative, but. Do I have to go back up to the other area to use it, or...? What? Not really sure where the hell I'm going. Samson, you good? It looks like he's fine. Mm. Okay. Let's try going outside here to the Colorado Wastes. Hmm? So the quest marker is pointing me where? Quest marker over this way, but hmm. Okay, I got an idea. It was down in that one area. It took me outside to an area that I've not been before, I guess. But maybe there's another vent there that I use the sedative on or something. I mean, all the monkeys I've encountered are basically dead, except for the ones that are outside still, so... I think that's kind of where I need to go. Don't mind all the dead monkeys. Hey, 
go back up here. The only thing is it's bare, but this area out here. What do you mean they're dead? This one's knocked out. Whatever. Where even am I right now? Was there a way to like put these ones to sleep though? I have one more canister of like knockout gas. I unlock this gate. I can, but I can't open it. Okay, that's fair, I guess. So. I guess I don't really understand what I was doing here. Like, I didn't have, like, an option to, like, not kill all the apes. Like, I had animal sedative that I, like, I guess put into the air supply for them. But all of them were already dead by the time I, like, figured that out. I couldn't really do much, you know? I'm just curious. Is there anything behind these doors? Oh, there is. So, how do I get the key to actually, like, open these normally? Do I have to kill the doctor or something? What's in this door? Oh, it's just, uh, I can't really do anything. Okay, well... Let's go talk to these numbskulls in here and see if they have anything to say. You couldn't have done that quicker, could you? Well, don't look at me like you are waiting for civilization to come back. I assure you, he's a reward. Don't eat it. Philip has a key for the room. Don't relieve him. You give me a hundred dollars, okay? Well, monkeys are dead, huh? New apoplectic nightmare. Might be just a thing my wife and I need to. Here's that key. So I got a storeroom key, which I, I'm, I'm guessing is the one room that I had. Uh, you didn't pick up anything in there, a little long and awful. Uh, never. The last game ever, and the damn Romans had to win it. So this, I guess, is the storage room, which. Has absolutely freaking nothing inside of it except for the medical box, which had some stim packs and this stuff in it, right? Are you talking about? Uh, you didn't pick up any self boy? No. Okay. The last well, never, and the damn Romans had to win it. I just don't like her as a person. He's just got to go. Thank you. Five, you two. You're kind of a shitty person. Philip? Don't slip. <laughs> I'm glad you're still cracking jokes. You're a, a very upstanding gentleman. And look, one monkey survived. So we're all good here. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get out of here. Maybe. I just got to return to Lester. That's the only job I currently have right now. Okay. I wonder if I can go through here and fast travel. I am technically outside, right? What do you mean there's enemies nearby? What? Eat my whole ass, bro. I wonder if there's a mod that lets you fast travel even if there are enemies nearby. 
I would love to have one. I think I'll look at that next time. <clears throat> I was wondering if I could get up here quicker, but apparently the platform has to be near the door to unlock it. So, fortunate. Okay, well. Now, let's fast travel back to Boulder Dome. And in we go. And in we go. them to the hall I actually want to talk to less Lester are you in here homie he's not mm. it makes sense as he'd be further in the other room there but where are the rest of Sarah's logs there should be two more, but I cannot find them. Hmm. No matter. Another pencil. Thank you. What's this control room? I never went in here before. Oh, Doctor. You must be quite mm. resourceful to get inside here. That is interesting. I wonder what you get out of all this. Risking your life. Good for you, if you are. Though, maybe not so good for you. If you tangle with the raiders downstairs. It... What you working on? Well, while Savant and Dr. Johnson are working on a cure, I work on creating more time. Because I've modified our dome suits to administer an hourly injection of cryomites into our bloodstreams. These cryomites enter the infected cell where they infuse them with. I'm nice. attempting. How many of those scientists? All dead. The metalheads killed them for pleasure, laughing while they did it. They mowed through the city level, chopping people down. Those that died then were the lucky ones. Others they kept alive and tortured for their own. Yeah. I think they call themselves the Metalhead. That's why they couldn't resist the dome. Spe There's some kind of cult who worship the induct. Some of them, he says. There. So I don't think I uh, anything else is gonna be helpful here. The any hollow tapes here, sir? Mm -hmm. Any of Sarah's old hollow tapes, maybe? Food sanitizer, huh? Is this guy really the only thing here, to, like talk to? No other reason for me to be up here? Well, this was enlightening. All right, I guess we're just gonna go to Zack now. Of course, there was like a shorter path to get to him though. Or not Zack, Lester. I don't know why I'm calling it Zack. Was it again this way? Yeah. That's... Wasn't there a door somewhere that led to like utility tunnels that I never went in? I think there was. Right? I do not recall where. Okay. Almost there. Harold. 
Carol's not here anymore, okay. Buster. No need to say anything. I can tell by your face. Reading the little details, the task has been accomplished. You eliminated the problems I sense. Yep. A shame. I thought their deaths might evoke an emotional response in me. But no, nothing. As promised, the Zacks will be returned to normal. Thanks, bud. I can't see you leave. Bye. Okay. Aware. Huh? What to level up? Where is here and now? Let's we'll level up again. It'd be cool if I get it here and now again. <laughs> Just keep leveling up. You know? Tunnel Runner. The Warrens of the Divide has taught you to keep your head down. Movement speed is greatly increased while sneaking low armor. Nerves of Steel. Nerves of Steel per generate action points. Oh. That one's neat. Oh, plus 1% more experience when experience is earned. Per level. Oh. Cool. I don't really need it though. I'll take nerves of steel. More action points means I can get my stuff back quicker while I sprint around like a madman. Do 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 do. Roaming around the halls. Engineering sector, down here, the recreational center. Oh. Back upstairs. Yeah, I feel like in the, uh, the metalhead area there was a uh, utility? Room somewhere, right? The here or the floor down? Inaccessible door. As it was, anyway. Maybe that's the way you come if you go through the other area? Like that hidden entrance area, maybe? Anyway. My way back upstairs so I can talk to the doctor. Hold up, wait. Can I talk to Harold now? More questions for him if he's in here. He is still not here. Whoa! Harold just disappeared. Well, no matter. Okay. Yo, dude, mission accomplished. Yes. How can I help you? Uh I'm not gonna tell him anything. It's just Zax is done. I can see that, friend. Dome functions are once again at optimal performance, thanks to you. You're a truly remarkable person, and the Dome owes you. Now your problems are solved. I'll inform the Brotherhood. Yes. You don't know how long we've waited for a cure. I never <laughs> believed this day would come. It'll be good to finally take this suit off. Thank you. Go and inform the Elder that we're ready and waiting for him. Thank you for everything. I'm gonna go. Goodbye. I'll just take that chimpanzee secret to my grave. Right. But there is one thing I want to do before we go talk to the elder. I'm gonna blow up that goddamn altar. Hey. Nope. <clears throat> Not dealing with that. Not right now. You asked for it. Now you're gonna get it. Shush. Wait, what?
Where's the death squad here? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and plant the C4 here. Don't mind me. Ow. Okay. Wreck. Enter cave tunnel. I just want to see where this leads to. Because if I don't, my curiosity will not be sated. I guess all the med hogs aren't dead, huh? Oh god, he got turned into goop. Oh. Okay. Doctor, empty crates. And around here, huh? I wonder where the last two volumes of that Sarah's hollow tape are at. By the gods. Hold up. Uh, I'm okay. I'm good. Not fear. Uh, but I will take a swig of a full of victory. Ouch. Maybe it requires a key. One of these raiders is supposed to have a key? Well, their bodies are all freaking splatter all over, so. I don't think I'm gonna find one. Yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and do this. Oh, look, the gate's open. Cool. So, where will this lead me to? Oh! Well, clearly not where I thought it was going to lead me to. Wait, can I not? Uh. Uh. Can't go forward. You can only go up and down. What the hell? What if I uh, go up literally high? Turn collision back off. Okay, now I can. So, uh, maybe I'm not supposed to be able to come this way. Maybe the gate's supposed to stay closed, but then where would I go to get into the dome? I don't see any other entrances or anything. Or maybe I just can't go this way since I already went into the dome somewhere at some other oh, container here. It's empty though. There's no manholes or anything unless it's through this car that got moved. Yeah, I don't see nothing. I don't see any possible way that I could have like gotten into the dome from this way. The hell? Anyway, well, <clears throat> this town got uh, just completely fucked. Uh, excuse me, guys. I, I need to get out. Hey, deadpan, move. Okay. 
Easy. Ignored. Well, it seems the NCR has taken control of this area. Okay. Well. And now we know what happened. What enemies are nearby? God damn. Keep firing at him, guys. What are you doing? That was almost dead. Let's kill him. I don't understand why the death troopers are so strong. But you better run. He is good. And obviously not. But, uh, okay. Now I can fast travel. Optional. Speak with Dr. Jacobson. Oh, yeah, that's just. Okay. <clears throat> Back to the Boulder Junkyard. Really, that key for that truck. I'm assuming that's probably going to get me back to. The wasteland, so. Ignore that for now. Alright, the doorway's here. Let's go talk to the elder! And I think that'll be the last thing. Unless, of course, he has more orders for us. Elder! You are back, and with little time to spare. The NCR have just been spotted moving into Boulder. They're making a desperate attempt to take the dome. We don't have long, but tell me quickly. Have you convinced the scientists of my proposal? Yep, I convinced them. That's excellent news, if I ever heard it. But there's no time to celebrate. We must get to the dome at once. We can't give them a chance to dig in. What do you mean, dig in? The NCR yeah. cannot enter the dome. They don't have the access codes. But they can take up position outside of the dome, blocking our path. We need to move in that. now before they have a chance to dig in and fortify their position. Right, but the thing is, you guys sent me to the dome because you have this one prototype suit, right? And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> you guys have those suits or, or not? Very good. Let's make haste. Scout ahead into Boulder and eliminate any okay. NCR in your path. We'll meet you outside the dome. Yep. Oh. Great. Oh, lovely. More radiation. Okay, well, I will go ahead and just take some radix. One rat away right now. Let's use a stealth boy. Blue's here. Where am I right now? On the map, anyway? Okay, I'm up here. Near the underground boulder. And... Come on, really? Hitting me here? Can I hit, please? There you are. Gotcha. Okay. There we go. I don't know why the first hit didn't cripple and completely destroy them, but whatever. Not matter right now. I have four more pretty cal shots, huh? Okay. 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 Listen here, you little shits. Get him! Beat his ass! And not the stale kind either. Ow. 
have some medics too, don't I, right? I don't really use this stuff ever, but... Okay, let's go! The Gauss rifle, maybe let's go. Come on, Kate. Deadpan, let's go. Wait for backup outside the dome. Watch it not come, and I was just abandoned out here to die. I wonder if they actually mean wait. Well. Actually getting back up. What was that gunfire? Ah. Safety first, revenge later. Can't tell if I'm like hitting them or, or what's going on. But uh Oh my god, there's so many. I wish I had like some sort of explosives or something. Go, Leon, Lenore, go, Lenore, go, fuck him up. Yes, yes, ruin them. Nice. There's a horde of zombies coming. Let's take the bastards down. Out in a sentinel and. Wait, one of them die? Yep. Oh, I'm gonna just take that microfusion stuff and all that, please. More? Oh, damn. I did not realize the NCR had this many troops to throw at them. Unlucky for you guys, I have stim packs now. You can see why they gave me so many stim packs. Oh boy. Ah, let's go. I do like this gun, but I can't tell if it's always hitting Shadow. That's the one thing that I do not know. I got word that Elder Guile has entered the dome through the second entrance in the caves. He wants you to meet with him at once. Cool. All the way to do that then. Watch the Elder within the dome. Assuming he's gonna be in the control room then. Looks like it. Fine. <laughs> Hello yeah. again, my simple minded friend. Simple minded? You have done me a great Thanks. service. You are like my personal genie. You, you giveth, are. but you shall not taketh. And now that the dome belongs to me, I don't see a point in keeping you around. To be honest, I'm sick of the goddamn sight of you, you ignorant credin. How easy you were to manipulate, just like the feral ones you did my bidding. You're nothing more than an animal to me. I pity you. I really do. You think I really care about these infected animals? They never deserved the dome. They never had the wit to harness even a fraction of its power. 
First, I had to cure the Seltzum syndrome. Not for mercy, but for the good health of the Brotherhood. That's fair. We can hardly move into a dirty house. Anyway, that's it. I'm bored of you now. Really? Elder, you dumbass. I think my own gun killed me. Being honest. Let's see. What other weapons do I have right now? Let's take out the chainsaw. Who could have seen this betrayal coming? Oh look, a dead scientist over there. Finally. This great <laughs> Yep, okay. I'm not dead. What? Excuse me? Okay. Fine. You guys want to cheat and take my health down like that? Finally. <laughs> yeah, you laugh, but I'm a god now. What can you do to a god, huh? Are you even damaging this guy? Who are your bodyguards first, then? You know what? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh wow, yeah, he just has a lot of health for some reason. Now who's the one who's dead? Bitch! Oh, disintegrator cannon, that's cool. Cure formula, Guile's armor, impact. Thanks, loser. Hmm. Let's finish getting science up all the way. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and increase melee weapons. Yeah. Right. Cool. Shame. Real shame that they uh, decided to cross me, huh? You alright, deadpan? Yeah, you, you look fine. This is just a fucking massacre out here. Holy crap. Okay, well. That, uh... Wait. That was the, uh, the last, like... Hold on. Staggering from the hands of a clock tower. Dead pen, hold on. Fuck. What's next? I think I have ten pencils for you. Of oh, your journals lying around. Ooh. Could an eager fa wait a minute. You train Lenore? With a few days and the appropriate sub Oh. How about something else? Um, about the pencils? I got pencils for you. I mean, I found all ten pencils. A blessing from the stork you are. Here, I hope my hat brings you as much. Yeah, keep your hat. Oh, thank you. You know, I never would have been born. Nice. All right, what else you got? That's all you got for me? Okay, cool. Well, Kate, do you have anything interesting to say? Are you okay? Did you... No, you do not. Okay. Where's Lenore? 
Lenore! Kitty cat. I don't know where that lure is. Lenore, hello there. Can I talk to you? Meow. Yeah, that's right, meow. Nope. I got nothing. Okay. So. I suppose my question is. Harold! Why? Why are you attacking me, Harold? Errol's an android. Message from Harold to android. What? What? All the Cape Town's coordinate message data. Listen up, android. There isn't much time. Brother and NCR are both approaching the dome. Likely it's the meddling of the courier uh, that you... That, that meddling of that courier you told of. Anyway, time to the essence now. Seal Sarah in my office. Weld the damn door shut. If you have to, protect her at all costs. Kill anyone who stands in your way. This is a direct order. Do not disobey me. Okay, well. Door's open. So. Quest added, Dr. Harold. Okay. Investigate the coordinates. Flint. Coming for you, Dr. Harold. Hold on, I'm over encumbered. I guess. What else do I have that I do not need? I picked up a bunch of stuff, right? Hold on. Giles armor. I'll wear that. Also, it's lighter than the environmental armor as well, so that's even better. Drop that stupid metal armor. Water breathing, rad resistance, 85? Uh, why is Guile's armor only 40% rad resistance? Poison resistance, 100%. Plus one HP. The dome suit is technically power armor? Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay, well, anyway. Let's go to these coordinates. Find Harold. Tear him to bits with my chainsaw. There's still NCR loser. Nice. Nah, Brotherhood losers out here. Look like it. Alright, well. I need to go to the cave tunnel. Oh! That cave tunnel. Am I going to the ghoul town? Anyway, I should probably uh turn God mode off now. Go to the cave tunnel. Finally, a reason to do this. I wonder if it's going to be the, the ghoul town, actually. Fuck that. Nope. Come on, team. We're leaving. Not dealing with those death troopers. Wasting that ammunition and nonsense. I'll hurt you if I have to. Guys? Crap. Run! <laughs> Lenore, no! Okay. Push on. Guys? Why do you have your weapons out? Are we good? Did you hear that? Lenore? I'm assuming I'm gonna have to go to the top. That was locked before, wasn't it? I don't remember. Is that Harold? Neil, Neil, listen up. I'm speaking to you. Stop talking your nonsense for one minute. The time has come to take the dome. Scour up the 
It's me. Now, you there, yeah. the one in the strange suit, come yeah. here, closer. Let me have a look at you. You don't smell like a ghoul. You smell fresh, like the past. You've come to see me for a reason. This I know. I imagine you've been inside the wall of the dome. The things I imagine are usually true, it seems, in the brain of radiation. Many doors can be opened in one's mind. Most lead to madness, but one with a resolute mind can discover something more, something deeper inside himself. Uh -huh. Sometimes I dare to look into this window when I feel strong enough to bear its pain. My beloved Sarah called me. She called out to me from her cold sleep. Ah. So there's little time to spare. The time has come. I must be at her side once more. And what of you? Dome's open. Brotherhood defeated. You defeated the Brotherhood at the Dome? Interesting. They would have not have let go very easily, not without a fight. <laughs> very interesting indeed. We must soon depart then. Shall we travel together to the dome then? I have a lot of questions. Well, I suppose. So, who are you? Why, I'm Dr. L. Johnson, of course. Head scientist the dome. Scientist. Okay. I suppose you're wondering about that. I presume that's how you tracked me. Also, he had yeah. no loss in every. Okay. I probably understand why he created a Android version of himself. Why are the Revolutions from Ferals here? Well, I called them here. Oh, okay. Why'd you set up this camp? As you call it, uh, all are welcome here. Okay, let's go to the dome. Okay, then. Interesting. Look at them just like wander and frolic about. It's like, eh. It's limping around. Is this door gonna open? Or are we going to your lab? Like, weirdly look at your wife or something. And we're going to look at your wife, I guess. Don't don't mind the uh, chainsaw nicks on her uh, little chamber there either. Okay, bud. Oh, hold on. Before we actually get too far, the disintegration cannon. Of course. Uh, wait, what? It does nine damage, but four hundred and twenty-eight DPS. Ow. Oh, that's how. Okay. At last! The cure! Thank you, my friend. Now it is time to wake the sleeping beauty. <laughs> my beloved Sarah, you're awake finally. I've done it. I've cured you of your illness. <laughs> now we can be together once more. Oh my gosh, Harold. Is that you? What? What has happened to you? You look so old. And your skin. My god, you've caught my disease, haven't you? No, no, no. Sir, uh. don't be afraid. It's still me. You're Harold. I know my body has changed. But my heart and my mind have not. We can be to together again. What I do is for my country and my people. No, my Sarah, no. Damn you. I will not lose you again. Harold's gone feral. Of course he is. <clears throat> yeah, baby. Hmm. How are you so damn strong? I'll hurt you if I have.
Oh, there comes that much ammo left. Okay. Why is Captain Desmond here? Death Squad. Oh, apparently his Death Squad Elite armor happens to have that much rat resist. Okay. Sure. Gotcha. I wonder what would happen if I would have killed him before. Would that have changed anything, I wonder? If I would have went and killed him? Like, specifically, if he would have been dead prior to me coming in here. Because if he was dead, he couldn't come in there and shoot them, right? Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, for me anyway. <laughs> so now I'm just uh, leaving the dome, I guess, or this area. Okay. So I am curious, like, It feels like nothing really changes if I help the Brotherhood or if I help NCR. If I help NCR, I mean, I have the Stelson Syndrome thing that they are afraid of, so they're going to kill me anyway. I would have also been betrayed by them. It feels like either way you're going to get betrayed with no matter who you side with. Shame you couldn't side with, like, the Dome guys or something. I mean, I don't know if I can ignition key. Find the ignition key. Of course. Okay, now we gotta go all the way back to here somewhere. For some reason, there's an ignition key here. Oh, oh God. Ah, my legs. Where am I at now? Okay. Here. Let's go to Inner Boulder, I guess, then. Oh, I'll be closer to the objective. Okay. Again with the Death Troopers. I... Okay, I'm not gonna go all the way inside just to walk around this area, so I'm just gonna teleport right on through. Where exactly am I going to get this key from? This way, I guess. In the Pioneer's Cafe? Oh, right. That one guy said he was going to go to the Pioneer's Cafe in that one letter, right, right, right. Ah, uh, here he is. Let's do. Update on gas locations. Oh, um, my, yes. Okay. Now it all makes sense. Okay, everything's coming together now. Okay, so from here, we're not gonna go straight back to the tunnel because we need gasoline first. What we are going to do is go to the uh, Boulder Junkyard. And instead of going in there, we need to go over to here. I think it was down here and there was a uh, gas tank. We're going to fill up these two things of gas. And then we'll go back there. Also, wasn't there a locked door down here? We never found out how to get in there, right?
little shack locked. What if I unlock it? Ah, still can't use it. So it's just one of those uh, fake locked doors. Gotcha. So anyway, we can go into here, into the cave. Then I can go ahead and grab gas cans and fill the gas cans in this convenient sink. I don't know how much I need, so I'm just going to take as much as I can there and just drop as much as I can that I do not necessarily need here. Oh, plasma grenades I don't need. I don't know why I have this on off shotgun. There, except the doctor bags, goddamn. Okay, so I guess I can't actually uh, carry all this gas. Where's it at? Gas, gas, gas. Now gas. Is it ammunition? No. Not an aid. Oh, full can of gas is what it is. Okay. There we go, I can drop. Damn, I still don't have enough to move, really? God, a can of gas is so, like, heavy. I guess it makes sense why it only gave you two. Okay. Anyway, now I can move. Where are my, like, companions at? Did they, like, decide to leave? Were they like, well, I guess you're done here. Back to Henry's scrapyard, back to the truck, and then we can get the hell out of here. Ah! Oh. Let's travel on through. Also, I wonder. Even if I would have done that one quest to go in there and kill that uh, Death Trooper leader and take his map. I feel like since I went back to the Boulder Underground, that it still would have been under attack. And, like, they would have all died anyway. Right? So, it, I feel like I didn't have much choice in the actions that I really took. Anyway, I'll use this. Truck's gas tank's been filled. Of course, I figured as much. I figured I would have to do that. Now, back out here. To back to New Vegas. Hell yeah. Which means all of our quests are done, except for this one, but that doesn't really matter. Because it's, it's game over now. So anyway, here we are back at the uh, facility. And, you know, there's one more thing I think I want to try to do here before we uh, wrap things up. Because there's one asshole in here who, you know, started this whole mess, infected us with this disease. If I can go in here and kill him, I think that'll be a nice way to wrap things up. Oh, yeah? You think I can't just unlock your door with commands? Yeah? Oh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. If he's still here, anyway. I think it was this way. Oh my god, Buff House worn off. It's been so long since I've been down this way. I think I need to go around here. That's the red door, so he should be behind this door here. Hmm. So the one scientist is gone. So I'll just kill this guy. Unrecognizable. What if I go to the engine level? I don't think I ever went down here, did I?
don't know if there's any reason to actually do it. All this, though. Like, obviously there's room down here to do things, but... Let's see. Anticipation. Nope. Organization. Nope. 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 Conspirators. Nope. Okay. That was nice. So... Indefinitely? No. Headquarters. Yeah, baby. Disengage the lock. Uh, let's get up. Melee weapons, I guess. Increase my perception by more. Uh, no. Oh. Oh. I know I just opened that one door, but I want to explore around a little bit more before I go in there. Okay. Hold up. What I opened should take me back here, right? Why did it not unlock this door? I hit the disengage lock button, but it was like, nah. But anyway, it leads out to here. There's some frag grenades, a couple of bodies, a smoking terminal, a heavy incinerator. Um, anything actually useful? One millimeter rounds, ammunition. Any unique or cool weapons? Doesn't really look like it, huh? Well, that's kind of sad. Like, they have this 10mm grenade thing here, but no 10mm grenade, like, launcher. Also, I thought this was the engine level. Why is it, like, uh, an armory? Oh? Oh. I was going to say take, but I can't take it. Inaccessible door. Anything behind it? Nope. Literally nothing. Well, I guess with that, our journey comes to an end. Not really anything else I can do down here. And, uh, there's literally no point in me actually going down this way. That's unfortunate. I thought at least something cool would be down here since well, there was this huge facility and, you know. I feel like this is not in the normal, not like Vegas game, right? So, in order for them to make this, they had to have, like, actually built it themselves for some reason, right? Well, anyway, that is that, everyone. That is that. So ends Beyond Boulder Dome, the Fallout New Vegas mod. Huh. It was all right. I, I actually quite enjoyed it. The, the ending left a lot to be desired, I will say that. Uh, the whole, like, you gained nothing from the story. You didn't end up being a hero to help people. You didn't end up, you know, doing much of anything except for going, uh, wasting time. That, that's the one thing that you did. You wasted time. Um, you returned to the wasteland with exactly what you left with. And all. Oh, that is all. I mean, it would have been one thing if you, like, 
were able to help the inhabitants of the dome, or if you were able to help the Brotherhood or NCR actually hold the Boulder Dome, uh, or if you could help Harold and have his wife and him have like a, a nice reunion and everything worked out perfectly. But I don't see that happening. Like the only way that could have happened is if you could have killed the NCR guy who came and killed them before that. But since he just showed up there without any warning, uh, I feel like that was unavoidable. I feel like even if I would have tried to kill him sooner, it would have said he's like an immortal object and he would have just been knocked out instead of killed, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, but I feel like that's just how it's going. So yeah, <clears throat> no one won here, but uh, I suppose we leveled up and uh, we got some interesting weapons out of it that aren't really necessarily better than anything we could have found in the normal wasteland. But we met some colorful people. We helped out Deadpan. We found a cat named Lenore. Well, he named it Lenore. And uh, we helped Kate, I guess. Out of everything, uh, Kate survived. So if you think about it, the one good thing that came out of this was if we would not have gone here, Kate would have went by herself and just died. But because we went, because we had the, uh, the anti selsen syndrome antibodies, they were able to give that to Kate to keep her alive, which she would have died if we had not. But because she didn't just die right away from the selsen syndrome, she also uh, basically got abducted by the ghouls and got turned into, like, a ghoul herself. So that kind of was a bad thing, too. I don't know. Anyway, compared to the Fallout 3 mods that we played, the total conversion ones, this one was definitely better than both uh, because it was actually complete, first of all, and second of all, when I was actually walking around doing stuff, I actually had things to kill and shoot at and think about rather than like Alton Illinois' one where I was doing absolutely nothing but walking from point A to point B and when I arrived at a landmark, there would be things around it. Uh, this one actually had things like in caves. It had the cannibal people things like just roaming around outdoors along with like cats and other like ant monsters and stuff like that. But there was actually stuff in the world that mattered. Also, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the dead troopers that roamed that entire like inner boulder area like and kept respawning and stuff that was great like that was never a a dead zone for me there was always people there trying to kill me annoying so i had to uh you know fight them off so that was really nice uh definitely not a bad mod but just a bad ending for a mod where it, it didn't really matter what you did and that was unfortunate because it didn't matter. I just kind of, eh, eh. It was good to play. It was fun to play. But damn if the end it didn't suck. Anyway, everyone, that'll be all for the stream and for this video and for Fallout uh, New Vegas Beyond the Dome mod. Because, well, once it's gone, it's gone. Yep, it's over now. Next time I stream, we'll be doing another Total Conversion mod called uh, New California, I believe is what it's called, right? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, the, the New California mod is a, a Total Conversion mod where you don't actually start out Vegas. You actually have a choice right at the beginning when you start a new game, whether you want it to be a New Vegas game or a New California game. And so that's going to be interesting. From what I've heard, the story uh, from someone in chat last, uh, last episode was saying that it was not necessarily good or it was kind of weird or the way it ended bad or there was like it was buggy and stuff. But he said overall, like the gameplay and stuff seemed pretty decent in it. So I'm looking forward to playing that. And that's what we'll be doing. So the, the mods that we use between this playthrough and the next one won't really change too much, although I might 
try to find one that like removes the blinding effects that you get after like stuff wears off stuff like that that would be good to have yeah anyway everyone thank you all for watching if you're watching the stream you can follow me over on youtube the link's down below the stream if you were watching on youtube you can follow me on twitch uh the link for that's also in the description so wherever you're at links to my other websites and stuff are in the descriptions yeah anyway uh i still don't have like a very set schedule for when i stream so i'm just kind of feeling it out you know when whenever i feel like and if you miss it you know it's on the youtube so you can you know check that out as well but thank you all Until next time i'll catch y'all later bye for now <laughs>